Tingnan nga, tingnan mo kung hindi nagdoble yung link. Ay. Okay, uh, good morning to each and everyone. I just had a meeting kasi because of the donations. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Linda, uh, I have in my office 200 uh, face shields uh, given by uh, Dr. Carino kasi ang uh, rule of the thumb is that when you ask for donations, and uh, you are using the name of the National Center for Mental Health, you must have to surrender this to the Material Management Service so that it will be placed in the Book of Accounts. And then later on, it will be uh, uh, given, the number will be given to Dr. Noel uh, Reyes, who is the only one standing right now among all the staff of uh, NCMH. Uh, you just keep uh, working Noel, even if you think na, basta if you think you have fever, you use all the necessary precautions, no? Uh, 
tayo na lang. And uh, you know, even during Saturdays and Sundays, ito, uh, kausap ko si Lanuel, ito si Ludo, ito si uh, Linda, ito si uh, Tina, kasi pinagagawa natin ng sulat sa mga nagdo-donate. And uh, sabi ko nga kahapon eh, eh, sana po makasip na lang ako ng Sabado Linggo. Kasi ganun din, no? Nandun ka sa bahay at uh, mas maganda pa nga yung ganito eh, with me. Anyway, good morning. Today is April uh, 6, no? And uh, I would like to uh, give you the uh, agenda for today. Uh, of course, uh, we, we go to the... Uh, updates on COVID-19 and uh, later on uh, we will discuss again no, the uh, policy on where to refer and then yung uh, present policy ng MPNAC yung uh, mataas na paaralan ng uh, Neptali uh, A. Gonzalez because at that time uh, the policy was that they informed us na pwede ang PUI at saka covid positive na uh, mild and uh, I think yesterday the policy was now uh, PUM lang at saka PUI no? so tignan natin we will revisit this so that we can put this in uh, the context na hindi malito ang mga uh, ating health workers basically the screening and triage area And uh, also, this should be uh, notified uh, dun sa mga screen uh, employees of uh, the National Center for Mental Health. If you recall, no, and we have, I've been talking with all the officials of the Department of Health, our uh, uh, patients, no, the inpatient side, are the only ones being seen at the uh, pavilion 7 or our isolation area. All other employees who would manifest PUIs who would be uh, COVID positive will be referred to uh, the hospitals that has been identified by the Department of Health. And I would like to inform you that uh, The three hospitals identified by the Department of Health, the N. Rodriguez Medical Center, the Lung Center of the Philippines, and the Philippine General Hospital, do admit only, you take note, only COVID patients who are severe. Yun ang usapan. Pero meron tayong pasyente na mild. Nagawa namin nila Dr. Saludo ng paraan. We actually coordinated with NCR for them to uh, coordinate with the Ed Rodriguez Medical Center to accept our patient. Kasi still, no, ito yung tandaan natin, still the policy of the Department of Health is if you are PUI, If you are uh, COVID positive, mild, you can be uh, home quarantine. Nandun yung sa guidelines nila. But we go out of our way kapag yung pasyente, eh talagang, talagang uh, ayaw niyang pakinggan yung uh, guidelines. So, uh, hindi naman kami insensitive. Although we know already that the guidelines is like that, pero gumagawa na rin kami ng paraan. And it is not easy, ha, to refer patients who are COVID by to hospitals that are identified by the Department of Health. Why? You have to inform them of the status of the patient. Na siya ay talagang COVID-19 with all the necessary documentations given by RTM and At the same time, the clinical symptoms must have to go with the guidelines. So, dapat intindihin natin yan. That is the reason why we have guidelines para mabasa nyo at makita natin 
ang mga implementation. In fact, as of now, the Department of Health is urging all LGUs, the local government units, to set up their own isolation area for their PUIs or COVID positive mile. So yun yung mga directions na yun. Why is the direction like that? They do not want to overburden the hospitals of just seeing PUIs and COVID positive that are mild. So, tandaan din natin yan. Kaya nga, as early as March, nagmi-meeting na kami dito, meron tayong COVID-19 chair na sila ngayon, ang, in fact, sila ang nagsasabi sa atin on what the DOH is also implementing. Now, we will go to that later on, no? yung updates of COVID-19, and then later on, nasabi ko na yung present policy ng MP na, where to refer, nasabi ko na kanina, yung time frame. Wala tayong uh, control of the time frame when they will get our patient in the end. Because there are a lot of coordinations that are being undertaken. Hindi yung porke uh, sinabi ni Dr. Soludo, ilagay niyo na yan sa tech kasi i-refer natin and in like a magic wand, i-wish na yung pasyente. Hindi ganon. Meron tayong coordination efforts that should go into the RESU, the Regional Epidemiological uh, uh, Service Unit, and then after that, they will coordinate which hospital na may availability. So please lang, ang ating pakiusap, pasensya, patients should be uh, always there, including yung pag-iintay natin ng uh, result of the coordinations that we did. Yan din ang pakiusap sa atin ng uh, City Health Office of Mandaluyong na ilagay niyo muna dyan, Doktor, kasi tawag kami ng tawag. Si Doktor, tumatawag, tumatawag. Siguro, kukulitan niyo itong mga tao. Ang dami naman tumatawag, dapat siya lang. Pero, you know, tumatawag na rin ako kasi eh, parang hindi naintindihan yung, eh, yung pag-implement ng policy. So, sabi ni Doktor Alex, Dok, hintayin niyo na lang yung tawag. Tapos, ipipick up namin yung pasyente. And which we understand. Kasi ako mismo, ha, yesterday, tinawagan ko si Regional Director OIC, si Dr. Pascorales of NCR. And I went into the process. I called, I called NCR, tapos sabi, dial 201, I did. Nakausap ko si Dr. Mucha. And sabi ni Dr. Mucha, sino ito na nagre-refer? Kasi nakaka-mag-refer dyan, is the COVID chair and members kasi sila yung may contact ng resto. So sabi nila, sino ho kayo, doktor? Eh ako ho sa NCMH, Dr. Roland Cortez. Tawag, hindi, hindi importante yun. Uh, paano kayo re-refer yung pasyente ko sa tala? And do you know, binigay ko na lahat ang number ko sa bahay at check ko. They, they were able to get back at me for two hours. So, nang tumawag, sabi ko, Doktora, what took you so long? Dok, kasi pagdating sa tala, inaayos nila lahat. Hindi lang at tayo ang nga nagre-refer. May nakapila. O, tapos, yun, nung, nung kausap ko si Dr. Alex, kasi nagkahanap kami ng mga facilities na yung pinakamabilis na makakuha. Nakausap na namin ng tala. Pagdating kay Dr. Alex, sabi niya, Dok, may mga tumatawag na taga-NCMH na sa akin. Kaya lang, inaayos namin din yung... Ano. And pagdating dun sa kanila, nakikipag-coordinate din sila ulit sa different hospitals. It's either sa tala, sa NCMH, sa, sa lung center, o kaya sa PGAs. So, dapat, no, yung ating mga staff, Kaya namin ini-explain ito because there are processes. Hindi sa, 
hindi sa pinapabayaan kayo kasi maraming sulsul na pinapabayaan. Ikayo nga ang umupo dyan. Baka hindi nyo pa ma-refer ang pasyente. Kaya lang naman nab nabibilisan na namin ngayon dahil in the past, hindi pa kami nakaupo rito, kakilala namin yung pinagre-referan natin. So ilang ang gusto kong itindihin ng bawat isa. Kaya hindi namin masasagot na ano yung time frame. No? And who would pick up the patient? Or just like yesterday, yung isang uh, staff natin, pinick up ng, uh, ng uh, Gonzales, no? Ambulance ng uh, Congressman Gonzales. But, kung sakaling hindi pinick up yung willing naman ang COVID uh, committee natin na ipadala yan. Yes. Oh, parang yan. Nung kausap natin ang tala. Because it is already on the higher level of referral. Okay, sasabihin nila. Pero we have to prepare the documents. Hindi naman po pwede po. Kasi sinabi nyo ng director doon. Okay, dadali mo na. Hindi. Because there are things that are needed to be submitted before you are also admitted. Eh yung atin niya, COVID-19 para moderate lang, pero dahil sa kagustuhan natin na matulungan, eh, inadmit. Oo. Oh. So, isipin nyo na lang, no? We are all health employees and uh, tayo dapat ang unang mag-abay sa polisiya ng DOH. And I encourage you na basahin nyo yung mga polisiya or policies that has been employed and we need a lot for this hospital. Okay. Now, can you now uh, present to us the uh, uh, this is April 5 uh, 4pm result of our COVID-19 case monitoring. Okay, uh, Dr. Uh, Berna, yung uh, ating case monitoring as of April 5. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yes. 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 I agree. Because that is has, that has been the protocol that has been employed in all the uh, hospitals in the Philippines. So, yung tatlong psychiatric inpatients admitted at Pavilion 7 are improving, but then uh, they should still undergo second swabbing, and if they become negative, then that's the only time that they will be transferred to their respective pavilions. Okay. Yung uh, 27 employees are now in the different uh, facilities, no? 27, uh, 16 are home quarantine sa ating mga employees, 5 are admitted at naman dulo yung City Medical Center, 1 is admitted at the San Lazaro Hospital, one is admitted at the Metropolitan Medical Center. One is admitted at the Jose and Rodriguez Memorial Medical Center. And this was the patient yesterday only. Yes, sir. Yes. And then uh, three are deployed at the Clark City that were, uh, that's now at where they are now admitted at the Marivelles Mental Wellness and General Hospital at the moment. Okay. So a total of uh, 
27 employees from the National Center for Mental Health. And uh, the swap in officials recording at the National Center for Mental Health, 20 were done at the National Center Health for uh, for the triads and screening area. Ito yung swapping. No? And uh, two were done at the Lourdes Hospital in Santa Mesa, Manila. Uh, one was done at the Philippine Heart Center. One was done also at the Pasay City Health Center. And of course, three who were deployed dun sa Clark, Clark Bayon or sa Tarla uh, were done at the New Clark City. Dun yung swabbing nila. Okay, now, uh, yung 27 na employees natin, we would like to give you the breakdown of the employees. 19 uh, are from the nursing personnel, no? and 3 are uh, doctors. Hindi, dum hindi, hindi dumagdag yung mga doctors natin. Am I right, uh, Berna and uh, Noel? So, may... Ah, so there are two na nag-positive. Ah, so it was not, the case index was not here. And then the contact tracing was not perhaps here. Okay. Isang surgeon natin. Okay. And then, yung isa, yung isa psychiatric president. Nakuha niya, uh, Noel, here. Okay, so three doctors and, uh, and uh, later on when we will update this report, there will be two who will be added as COVID uh, positive. And then, uh, tatlo sa engineering area. No? Ang una nating case index was uh, the one in the engineering and the, the wife. Oh, okay. And then one's administrative personnel and one from the dietary personnel. So lahat ito, no? Lahat ito, ay ang 16 ay hope pa hatin. Five are at the Mandaluyong City Medical Center. One was admitted at the San Lazaro Hospital. One was admitted at the Metropolitan Medical Center. One admitted at the Jose, Rizal, Jose Rodriguez Memorial Medical Center and Tatlo yung deployed and admitted at the Maribeles Mental Wellness and General Hospital. Okay. So at the moment, no, we would like to. Uh, I would like to inform you that uh, we had. Uh, a uh, letter sent to uh, the uh, Honorable Senator uh, uh, Dick Gordon through, of course, the initiative of uh, one of our friends, the uh, uh, Dr. Susie Mercado, and we had a long discussions on how we can uh, also help the National Center for Mental Health, and uh, we actually made the letter and awaiting for the request that we have uh, uh, stated in the letter. And uh, there was a discussion, Bernard, whether uh, rapid tests can be done to perhaps just screen out the uh, uh, patients that we have in the different pavilions. Yung PCR kasi is the one being advocated by the Department of Health. Yeah. And then sa akin, ganito kasi, no? Yung PCR nila kasi, di ba? This is noted as the gold standard for all testing. Yung PCR, yung uh, polymerase, uh, ano yung polymerase uh, PCR, polymerase chain uh, reaction, no? Is actually, as they said, is the gold standard for... Uh, 
uh, looking into the coronavirus. Kasi itong uh, polymerase uh, chain reaction, although it entails a lot of processes, kasi may special machine that are being uh, used na nasa RITM, may eh, huwag kung anong ibang hospital ang meron niyan, no? And uh, ang uh, purpose of the uh, PCR is actually to determine already the virus if it is present in that individual. Now, yung, as against the rapid test, uh, the rapid test is actually uh, uh, used to, de to, to detect the antibody of uh, the person kung nagkaroon siya ng uh, COVID positive. Kung nag so, ang, ang, ang tinitignan lang nila is that meron kung may antibody ka, ibig sabihin, nagkaroon ka ng panlaban sa COVID-19. So, ibig sabihin, bakit ka nagkaroon ng panlaban ng antibody? Kasi meron ka na. So, yun yung, yung, yun yung, yung ginagawa ng rapid test. And, and the, prob, uh, the, 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 uh, the rate na yung sinasabi nila na uh, I think it's only 88% yung kanyang uh, rate detection. So may failure rate siya of 22%. Now, ang tanong, if we have this, kasi the, the government does not allow the use of the rapid test because uh, up to this time, ang gustong gamitin ng ating uh, our government, especially the Department of Health, is PCR, polymerase chain reaction. Kasi sabi nila, mas definitive ito. Kasi nakikita ng virus mismo sa tao. Now, ang question is, if we go into rapid test for screening purposes, meron tayong 88% na mahuli natin na baka meron ng may COVID positive kasi nagkakaroon na siya ng antibody. Pero may failure rate siya ng mga about 22%. Ang sabi ko, hindi, because the DOS does, does not advocate the use of uh, uh, the rapid test, hindi tayo pwede bumili. But I told the, uh, those uh, experts that we have talked to, if they ask me, are you willing to do rapid test? And then I said, yes, but please donate the uh, rapid test kit because we, can, we do not have the authority to buy this because it is not advocated by the Department of Health. So, uh, a higher official of, uh, of these uh, uh, NGOs no, actually told me that they are working to uh, talk with other uh, experts kung pwede mabigyan tayo ng about 3,000 uh, rapid test kits which we are willing to do just so that if there are positive for this kit ibig sabihin nagkaroon sila ng antibody because they have COVID we will now have the authority and we will now have a very good plan of separating this the positive sa rapid test as against those na nag-negative. At least, meron na tayong uh, uh, area of leeway na masi-separate mo na yung nag-positive. So, this is one of the future plan. Kapag dumating yan, and uh, we will talk again, especially Dr. Noel and Dr. Uh, Berna, na we will now uh, formulate a plan to implement it para meron tayong uh, ma, ma, mahiwalay na mga uh, supposedly na positive. Because we do not want that our 3,200 patients will not be given the chance na mahiwalay natin doon sa meron na. Okay, so yan yung latest na coordination that we have been doing all along. Akala nyo, kahit na 
na nagbibiti kami after the meeting, there are still a lot of coordinations that we do because we wanted to protect basically the 3,200 patients of this institution. Okay, so do you have any other uh, questions on this? Babalikan natin yan kung meron. And can we now go to the second uh, uh, agenda? Uh, nasa si Jerry, if we can give them an updates on the, on the supplies and materials. And after this, para makonek natin, no? we can connect these things with the uh, third uh, agenda where we can have an updates on the donations. Now, yung donation last, just like now, meron tayong 200 face shield na nandyan sa office na it will be turned uh, it will be turned to uh, the MMS and then uh, ang coming, there is 500 face shield na dadalhin ni uh, Dr. Nolasco na easy surrender sa MMS kasi lahat na dapat ng donation must have to be surrendered to MMS if you use the name of the National Center for Mental Health. Kung nakakuha ko ng donation on your own, then that's yours. But if you were able to get a donation, at ang sinasabi nyo, kasi kailangan niya ng National Center for Mental Health, then you must have to surrender this to MMS so that it will be placed in the book of accounts and everything will be uh, accounted for for and then later on after these uh, things will subside na pababa na ang mga places and then later on pwede tayo magpa-audit sa commission and audit on how these uh, donations were actually utilized okay now can we now uh, can we now go to the second uh, update which is uh, the uh, updates of the supplies and materials care of uh, Mr. Jerry Rodriguez. Yes, sir. Good morning. Sir, for the delivery of medical supplies for COVID-related uh, supplies, uh, for delivery is the 100 pieces of non-esteril overall suit. Tsanggalin uh, sa, ano po ta, sir? Sa Phil Parkowell. Okay. Okay. Uh, 100 pieces goggles still with Parma well, 10,000 pairs of gloves and that, yun po is sir, yun yung mga for delivery and for delivery today No, no, uh, ganito muna Jerry yung stock, yung stock mo, stock level position mo muna with, uh, and then after that, then let us uh, dwell into you for delivery Sige sir, ako na Sige yung uh, ating PP sir now it's become four types of PPE. Yes. Non-sterile, sterile surgical, washable PPE donated by Congressman Boyer, and the white PPE donated by the uh, SM group of companies. Question, uh, uh, Dr. Noel. Yes, the washable PPE donated by Congressman Gonzalez, when you say 36, kasi ang delivery niya was 50, yes, you were able already to utilize the 14. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, naka earmark sir sa mga other essential personnel na pumapasok sa mga critical areas natin. Okay. Like for example sir, yung ating sanitation na nag-disinfect, yung ating mga electrician na nag-maintain ng mga ilaw sa Pavilion 7 at saka meron silang carpentry works dun sir. Now the goggles, ah, as a white PPE, uh, just like to inform the body that the uh, white PPE, the donation was around 400 60. But last Saturday kasi umigot na ako, I gave two boxes, ang mga quantity niyan, mga 120, sa Pavilion 7 alone. Okay. Tapos sa mga laboratory technicians natin, both from clinical, which is which are the ones taking the blood sample of these COVID positive patients at exposed, kaya kailangan na ka-PPA din sila. And yung anatomical laboratory, kasi pag kami uh, nagsakam sa COVID, so then nagpe-prepare ng, ng body. Sila ang nagdadala sa crematory. So, kailangan na ka-PPE doon sila. Yes. And not to mention our motor pool personnel na okay. kailangan nila ka So, uh, ano yung sinusuot mo? Anong klaseng PPE yan? Uh, with the four types? 
Sir, DIY. What is that? DIY, sir. Can you DIY? Do it yourself. <laughs> so this is not an example of all no, the no, PPEs no, that you're... Uh, yes, sir. No. I just, uh, uh, my feeling is I just don't, don't, don't like to take to sa, sa existing natin ayaw ko pang mabawasan kasi ginto nga ngayon ngayon. Okay. For the gapels, I'm just waiting for the uh, delivery of the procurement on 100. The time, sa opisina ko may 12 pa. Okay. Now, uh, facials, marami tayo ng facials. Noel, Noel, uh, can I, can I, so that our uh, uh, people, our staff can readily understand. Ang goggles, di ba, reusable yan or minsanan lang? Yes, sir, uh, reusable lang. Okay. So, that the uh, goggles are reusable? Yes, sir. And our PPE, which we still have 36 pieces given by Congressman Gonzalez, is also washable. Yes, sir, washable. Okay. And I was uh, informed by uh, our uh, engineering, engineer Evelyn Torino, that 50 is going to be delivered today again. Okay, yes. so I believe, uh, uh, anyway, tamayan because uh, the Honorable Congressman informed us uh, a week ago. He, he will be delivering uh, 100 washable. So last Friday at nagpadala na sila ng 50. So another 50 will be coming in. Okay. Now that will be given again to MMS. We just follow all the accounting and auditing procedures, MMS. And then Dr. Noel. Oh, gusto ko malaman sa inyong lahat na si Dr. Noel is now the gatekeeper for all these uh, uh, COVID supplies. Para malam, kasi siya yung nakakaalam, sino talaga yung nangangailangan ng ganito, sino yung nangangailangan lang ng ganito. And the reason why no, these are being done through a system is because, as he said a while ago, these PPEs are just like gold. You cannot just go out and buy everything. Wala kang mabibilihan. Now, Noel and uh, Linda, I would like to inform you that last night at 11.15, nag-usap kami ni, ni Juan, ni Yusek uh, Roger Tong Ang of the Department of Health. And uh, what he told me was like this, uh, nangangailangan ba kayo ng uh, PP? And then I said, yan ang kailangan talaga namin na uh, Yusek. Today, no, yung kaninang umagas, sabi niya, the uh, Air Force, Yung uh, C-130 of the Philippines is going to China to get thousands of PPEs and other supplies and materials. And ang sabi niya, baka early morning, the plane will be going back. And sabi niya, as soon as the plane will deploy to uh, the, the supplies and materials, he actually informed me na bibigyan tayo ng mga PPEs. Kaya Linda, again, no? Uh, ang kausap natin, yung pinakamataas sa, sa kwan, sa administrative, sa Department of Health, and then I advise you to coordinate with parang uh, the uh, MMS also of the Department of Health. Wala si yung head dyan because uh, ng positive. So, I don't know kung sino yung OIC. Bahala na kayo makipag-portin eh. Okay? So, Noel, can you please... Uh, uh, at tapos, tatapusin ko na rin to because this is all in relation to mga coordination natin. We coordinated with uh, Dr. Kari Dublao. No? And uh, meron silang... Uh, mga donations na iniintay din na dumarating. And all I said was that we need a lot of PPEs. So yun yung uh, ang gustong gawin ni Mrs. Kari Dumlao. Siya yung parang uh, association nito sa Philippine Regulatory Commission, yung PRC. And nag-contribute lahat yung mga chairman ng different uh, professional uh, uh, regulate, regulation regulation no? 
professional regulatory body, and uh, they are coming up with support to different hospitals. We were lucky that we were included. Now, ano ang idodonate nila? Uh, they are now asking our uh, our authority to give them passage for a uh, tent that they will build for the next, uh, sabi nila, mga five to seven days ito. Kasi malaking tent, so take note, Evelyn. Uh, I have been talking already with Dr. Noel yesterday at saka kay Linda kung saan ilalagay itong tent. Kasi malaki. It can accommodate uh, level, mga 10 cars daw ang pwede nga ipasok sa loob. No? And uh, hanapan natin ng area where we can put this uh, tent na may malapit na comfort room. No? Siguro you can give feedback while by and by kung ano ang uh, is ang gagawin natin dyan. Okay. And at the same time, uh, humihingi rin ng, ano, ng uh, passage sila Mr. Uh, Neil Arce and uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Angel Loxin na magdodonate din sila ng isang tent for uh, uh, parang uh, the contamination and uh, yung nagmi-mission eh, yung papasok ka o mimis para yung uh, damit mo kung sakaling may uh, virus eh, mamamatay, no? Uh, anong tawag doon? Detang-tabination ba yun? Or uh, disinfectant uh, tent? So, papasok ka doon, so, meron yung parang uh, bumubuga na, na mist, no? Pagdaan mo, and then hoping na patamaan yung virus kung may nagtabit sa katawan mo. So we are awaiting that, no? And uh, tomorrow, kasi uh, nakikusap din ulit ako kay uh, Mrs. kay Dr. Kari Dumlao, titignan nila kung makapag-deliver na sila yung uh, Red Chef. May coordination sila ng mga 75 na pagkain. So again, no? I would like to inform the body na pagkuha ng MMS sa pagkain, coordinate natin kay Noel kasi ang gusto natin mangyari dito, ibigay natin sa mga nag-duty ng ating frontliners. Kung may sobra, then itulong din natin doon sa mga support group na nag-duty. No? So, uh, I told uh, Mrs. Kari Dumlao na i-deliver yan sa MMS and then MMS coordinate with Dr. Noel lahat ng frontliners mabigyan ng pagkain. And then yung second uh, is are those kung may sobra yung mga nag-duty din sa support group na nandyan parati. So, ano pa yung nakalimutan ko na parang minsanan sa duration? O nga pala, Linda, I think it will be tomorrow yung 500 uh, face shield na galing kay Dr. Olasco. Ngayon, meron 200 dyan. Noel, can we, ano, can we actually uh, give the different pavilions? Di ba, meron na silang surgical mask? Yes, sir. And then, uh, ang, uh, ang gagawin natin is that even if they use their surgical mask, anyway, itong face shield pwede nililisin, mag face shield din sila. Yes, sir. Okay? Berna, do you agree na naka-face mask ang mga ating uh, health workers sa different pavilions? O nga, naka-mask na. So what we will be uh, advocating is that all of them, kapag nakuha natin lahat ng face shield, nakamas, tapos naka face shield. Except screening and triage area, okay. yung, yung ating uh, pavilion 7, at but, and, the, and the rest, surgical mask plus face shield kapag tumatid. Okay, thank you. Noel, can you continue? Yes, sir. So, itong mga uh, gloves natin, ito yung tinadamihan natin because they are highly uh, uh, mabilis mag-consume kasi pag so, pagpasok, paglabas, what? So, meron pa tayong 10,000 person uh, for delivery. Uh, 
ang medyo good news lang dito sir, yung N95 mask natin na 1,700 na lang, which are all in the CSR of Pavilion 7, eh, the 5,000 pieces will be delivered today. Okay. So, uh, this, this one sir is a procured uh, N95 mask. Ang supplier dyan is a Sergi Medical. Sergi, Sergi Medics. Okay. Iba pa to sir doon sa 5,000 na deliver na ng Phil Pharma will o na deliver na ito. Ito ang palibago. Okay. Alright. So, uh, uh, the OR counts is uh, 47 pieces because I issued sa uh, uh, Pavilion 7 to, to augment lang yung kanilang mga PPEs doon. And then, uh, alcohol, marami tayo. So, we will, Linda and I will still continue to give a daily uh, supply to all pavilions for alcohol. Ang ano lang dito is that yung containers nila, pag-ubos, uh, yun ang i-refill natin para mas mag Mabilis. Okay. Now, uh, Linda, did you coordinate with Dr. Cheng kung may mga other span na pwede ibigay? Ano yung sabi? Yes, ang darating ata, uh, early tomorrow, sabi ni Isaac Tong ang yung uh, C-130 uh, from the Philippine Air Force uh, that went directly to China. Okay. And, uh, Sir, si Mrs. Espinosa and Sir Linda, sir, uh, already wrote an email to uh, uh, some donors for disinfectant because I, I asked uh, Evelyn to make a schedule of all pavilions for disinfection and uh, uh, okay naman sir, and I, I appreciate it na nagkarapel na tayong schedule for disinfection. Uh, we have to thank also Congressman Mo, yeah? Yes. Because pinagyan din tayo sir ng dalawang sprayer. Okay, so, thank you. Uh, yeah, sir. And uh, since uh, Linda has some uh, granules for mixing it with water and disinfectant, yun ang ginagamit namin ngayon, sir. Last weekend, Saturday, Sunday, inula namin ang Pavilion 5, Pavilion 8, Pavilion 27, 28, uh, personnel and the nursing service. Yun ang mga natapos namin noong weekend, sir. And uh, for today, AM, ongoing ngayon sa TV cottages, 24, 25, 26, 27 and uh, susunod namin dyan is 34 and 35. Okay. So, thank you uh, uh, Dr. Noel. And uh, Linda, did you uh, uh, did you write acknowledgement uh, letters to all those who yes. donated these things? Yes. Kasi uh, at the end of the day, later on when COA will look into uh, the donated uh, things then ipakita mo na we accepted it and then we even acknowledge the donations and we thank all those uh, uh, kind-hearted uh, people who actually help the National Center for Mental Health. Okay, thank you. And so uh, we have been updated of uh, the uh, supplies and materials. Again, uh, I would like uh, Dr. Noel to use the, the guidelines on the rationalization and the use of PPEs because uh, the guidelines has been developed uh, a few weeks ago and it has to be implemented. So again, no, I would like to thank you Dr. Noel for uh, you being the only one standing and uh, trying to do what is best for the National Center for Mental Health. In fact, I have to, I would like to inform all of you na si Dr. Noel, walang Sabado linggo yan na, na bakasyon. And uh, to be fair with all concerned, no? kailangan na uh, daddy, it is not because he's a higher official, na hindi natin include yan sa mga and all those, Mamia, did we discuss nothing that you how the overtime pay will be done? Okay, so I would like to connect yung report nila as to the updates on supplies and materials na may not donate. Do you have a data for this, uh, uh Mrs. Uh, Linda Espinosa? Uh -oh. 
Kunin mo yun. Oh, distance kayo. Huwag nyo na, huwag kayo magtakang-takangan. Kayo na lang ang gamitin ko. Just like you said, the donor was giving, uh, sa giving corporation. Hindi, sige, 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 sige. Hindi, it's not, they cannot hear you eh. Last week, the donor was San Miguel Corporation and the SM Foundation. Okay. Ano yung uh, dinonate ng kwan? Ang, uh, ang San Miguel, binigay nila ay alcohol plus yung disinfectant na granules. Okay. Uh, ang SM Corporation... Yung disinfectant na granules are yung these yung granules, yung the one you use for the different uh, pavilions yes, na pinag-disinfect? Issue kami sa ibibig and also alcohol. Yung huli nila dinonate was 80 gallons. Of alcohol? Yes sir. Ang SN Foundation, yun yung sinabi ko kay Dr. Noel Lahat. E95, UPE, gloves, masks, head cover, shoe cover, napins, shampoo. Okay. Sanitary napins. Sanitary napins. Sanitary napins. Sanitary napins. Then last Sunday, yesterday, tumating yung Jollibee Corporation. They donated the uh, marinated chicken on the side. Ano ang dinonate nila? Yung cook na? Cook? Okay, hilaw. Sir. Ah, hilaw. Yes, okay. Uh, at saka meatballs and yung panggawa ng chowpan. Sana yung mga donated na ganyan, you inform the dietary nalutuin niyan 4-hour health workers na nag-duty kung magkasya. Magkasya sa doktor. Kasi okay. hapon na kahapon din kasi sa doktor. Okay. Sige. Very good. So, ang ating uh, ang ating uh, polisiya, yung policy guidelines, no? pagdating sa food donations na anko, iluluto yan ng uh, dietary section and then it will be distributed to all those health workers who are on duty. No? Now, kung uh, nagkataon yan na uh, kasi binibilan ni Jerry ng pagkain ng mga nasa uh, uh, triads and screening, kung nagkataon na meron naman ganyan, di ba kainin niya na muna sila? Kasi one of the problem I think that Jerry is encountering is uh, the delivery of the food. Mahirap mag-order minsan, no? Kaya Mrs. Gablan, you have to coordinate with uh, them kung may mga uh, donations na such as that na ginawa ng Jollibee. Okay. Pagka may donation naman sa pagkain, pinapalam kay Jerry para huwag na muna sila bumili sa araw na yan. Kasi sakop naman, kasi yung sabi ko, kung kayo bumili, may dadating, sakop naman yung three ships. Okay. Sir, I'd just like to add na uh, if there are sobra pa, there may to be uh, relatives of those who are watching over sa ASIS para wala na nalasak po din natin. Kung may sobra. Alin yung mga watchers at mga relatives sa ASIS? Relatives? Hindi pa, ilan ang pa, ang bantay ng bawat... Uh, isa lang, sir. Isa lang. Kaya ang pinaprovide natin pagkain yung pasyente. Pasyente. So, okay. kung may sobra, Sige. Uh, so, we just sent the updates on the donations of all the uh, uh, goods, no? supplies, materials, even food. And then, uh, Linda, you take note later on of the uh, donations of the tents. No? And uh, of course, mga uh, bukas, pag uh, pa niyo na, ni Doc Noel, pagkatarating yung 75 na food pack na galing sa Red, Red Chef, which uh, I think was coordinated by uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Carly uh, Bunglao of uh, the Philipp PRC, Philippine Regulation Commission ba yun? No? 
Now uh, we now go to the status of uh, the pavilions. Gusto lang natin malaman yung specially pavilion 28. What has now been done with pavilion 28? Kasi I think uh, all the uh, six patients ba? Six patients coming from pavilion 28 that were uh, actually uh, placed in the isolation area sa pavilion 7 where three, as according to Dr. Berna, are already uh, getting better, but of course needed to be uh, uh, reswabbed for uh, the second time. But uh, unfortunately, out of the six, I think we already have three deaths back, three deaths no? of the six. And uh, during those times that uh, we had these positive cases, the the soonest possible time para nga uh, lockdown natin ito no well yes. ang pavilion 28 okay do we have an update to the pavilion 28 because i heard last friday that of the remaining patients kasi 42 ang uh, pavilion uh, 28 all were swapped and uh, were taken with the blood uh, examination uh, and chest x ray. Okay. Yung chest x ray ata, hindi ba nagawa? Sir, simulan na. Kasi po lang sa atin na yung sa atin siya paunti-unti. Kasi they have to be transported to the radio department. Medyo nahirapan sila magdala ng portable sa pavilion 20. Anyway, sir, I provided uh, some slippers din kasi na sabi nga nung nurse doc, walang chinelas. So, nagpapadala uh, kay Linda, kumuha ko ng chinelas. So, okay naman sa tayo. Baka matapos na yung video na ito. Okay. Now, uh, we should hear from Dr. Saludo why we swap all the remaining patients. Number two, bakit niya the uh, uh, di request na they will be examined sa blood? Bakit niya, bakit uh, pinag-usapan namin last meeting na kailangan i-x-ray natin? Hindi yan na gawa-gawa lang there is a scientific basis for this. Kaya, Dr. Berna, can you please explain to the body and to our staff na kung bakit ginawa natin ito sa Pavilion 28? Kasi sir, unang-una nga, yung mga site patients natin, Jeria to sir, eh, mas marami sa kanila, unique ang karakteristik nila eh, para silang pediatric group hindi sila talaga nagko-complain, no? Ang, tsaka itong COVID-19 ano, infection, hindi naman lahat na fever, yung iba, inuubulas, nagisipot, pero kailangan proactive tayo kasi nagkaroon sila ng six cases na positive. At sa pag-a-analyze ko, yung isang COVID positive can infect mga sampu. Because there is no social distancing there, no? Walang social distancing. And then, kakaiba nga yung pasyente natin. So, ang pinakamaganda talaga dyan, ay eh magkaroon tayo ng baseline. I-check natin yung blood picture nila, tsaka yung chest x-ray. Kasi sabi ko na nga, matagal na, hindi naman lahat dyan umuubo. Kasi nga, naka-antipsychotics sila, more or less, no? antipsychotics. May ano yan eh, nakaka-depress nga ng top, ano. Uh, ng ubo. Ngayon, uh, I'll just have to wait for the results of the chest x-ray and the CDC, including the swabbing. Ito yung pinakamagandang gagawin kasi nga, majority ng pasyente natin dito sa National Center for Mental Health will not complain, would not exhibit the typical signs and symptoms related sa COVID-19 infection. Okay, uh, now uh, we go further, uh, Dr. Berna. Uh, we already perhaps uh, got the result and we already have uh, positive and negative. What are we now going to do with this? Uh, as of this time, wala pa ako yung mga results, sir. No, no, example lang, meron na yung positive. No, of course, hindi natin alam. Example lang. What are our definitive actions on uh, those? Definitive action would be, uh, this patient should be transferred to Pavilion 7. 
uh, because we have identified Pavilion 7 as the isolation area for patients uh, diagnosed to have COVID-19 infection. And this is the main purpose. Para hindi na kumalang itong ano, uh, COVID-19 infection. Para makontain, makurb natin agad-agad. And then, uh, we should not wait no, na para mag-progress pa to into something severe. So, kailangan talaga maaga pa na makita na dati sa early stage ng COVID-19 infection. Okay. So, uh, you've heard uh, our, our chain for COVID-19. In fact, that is what I said to the Department of Health. When they were asking what measures have you done to Pavilion 28, when you already knew that there were about uh, six of your cases na positive. And then we told them that we isolated them to uh, the isolation room at Pavilion 7. And then we informed them that uh, we did uh, a lockdown on the area. And uh, during that time, sinasabi natin that uh, these patients will be swabbed, uh, blood examinations will be done, and if possible, they will be x-rayed. And we are very thankful, uh, Dr. Raperna and Dr. Noel, that uh, these things were already done, except for your ongoing uh, x-rays for our uh, geriatric uh, patients. Okay. Now, uh, how about our headquarters there at the Pavilion They were also included, sir. Yes. No? Uh, actually, ang uh, panukala nga ng, ng ngayon ng iba, if we only have the resources, and government will have the resources, all health workers must be swabbed. Sana, no? Kasi ang uh, policy ngayon, yung mga PUMs and uh, PUIs, o kaya yung may mga, mga signs and symptoms already for COVID-19 ang priority for swabbing. So anyway, no? if uh, the donations will come, kahit na yung sinasabi natin na panala, rapid, then at least, no? kung meron naman may asymptomatic sa atin, and then uh, nakita natin na may antibodies na siya na pinaformulate because of the rapid test, then siguro pwede ihiwalay na natin. Although I, I, am, uh, I am telling kids and everyone na meron siya failure, failure rate of 22%. Kasi 88% ng daw. So may may ask the person who who determines the number of test kits that are being sent at the National Center for Medicine? It's usually the lab. Because uh, yeah. the lab is na always na. Yeah. Na -re request sila, and they usually get the media naman from RIT. So, can I... Uh, so far, naman, ano, eh, nakakakuha sila kaya lang. Yeah. Lumarami na eh. Yung awareness na matibig na. So, can you allow me to write a letter of request to RIT? Eh? Requesting for uh, no, write a letter to RITM. RITM, yes. And uh, what about the to uh, ask them? Uh, I'll just get the number of health workers right now who are reporting, and then I'll ask them a specific number of uh, uh, test kits. So, uh, our rationale is based on the DOH, the healthcare workers should be mass swap. Yeah, ako nga. Uh, uh, I agree with the idea that uh, health workers, no, not only the frontliners, but the health worker can na pumapasok sa hospital sana, you must have to be swap. Uh, that would be a very good uh, entry point on uh, actually screening also our staff. Yeah, I know, yes. Yes, but, uh, I know. Yes, sir, I the can... reason, di ba, ang, ang, ang uh, gusto ni uh, Dr. Eddie, ni uh, uh, General uh, Charles Galvez, no? Si Charles Galvez, I know him eh. Medyo, ano uh, yan, medyo aggressive yan. Kasi lagi na klase ko yan sa U.S. State Department sa Hawaii. Pagkasama kami for one and a half months. 
Charles is very aggressive. No? And if you listen to what he was talking uh, lately, kahit yung uh, rapid test gusto niya ipagawa eh. para makita niya yung baseline sana na nangyayari sa community and to the other uh, areas ng population natin. But then, ang problema, the Department of Health does not advocate the use of rapid testing. Sabi nila, hindi yan na uh, uh, may mga failure yan. Unlike yung uh, uh, polymerase chain reaction na uh, yung PCR na sabi nila, this is the gold standard pag katines ka namin at nag-positive nahanap namin yung virus dyan then that's it pero ang contention ng ibang expert matagal matagal malalaman yung uh, yung uh, flow ng information because uh, it takes uh, technical experts na in the machine to determine kung sino yung mga positive from it. Unlike ang rapid testing, parang pregnancy test lang. Ganyan mo lang, oh, tapos ganyan, malalaman mo na. Unlike, sino ba, alam niyo ba yung pregnancy test? No, well, eh, hindi ka kumigibo. Ako, hindi ko rin alam. Ang sabi nila sa pregnancy test, Idigit mo lang sa urine, kapag nag-iba na yung kulay, yun na yun. It is as simple as that, ang rapid test. Now, there was, uh, mamaya, may i-informe si Noel, yung latest. Last night, I was able to Si Dr. Hermosa is already a, uh, is already a consultant of uh, uh, General Douglas. Si Tony, Dr. Tony Yachon is a consultant of Dr. Uh, of uh, General Charles Douglas. Siya yung implementor ng one eh, ng COVID-19. Si Bob Bueno, no? yung naging uh, head ng ER ko na naging chief ng uh, ama. Tapos nagpunta sa East Avenue before he retired, kasama na ni Dr. Uh, Charlie Galvez. And uh, yesterday, they, uh, I was called by previous officials na if ever daw, I would like to join the team. Ang sinabi ko, honestly, no, retired na ako sa mga ganyan. Yung mga national uh, issues. When I was already an assistant secretary, Katapos na yung acting one. So ang sabi ko, I will just concentrate na lang dito sa mental hospital and then look at what we can do best. Because of the 3,200 patients that we have, we must have to guard them. Yan ang sinabi ko. But anyway, we have contacts with them. Anything that this government will uh, try to uh, implement, of course, we will be supporting. And uh, the reason why, uh, in the next few weeks to come, sana dumating na yung promise nila na support of all the supplies, support of all the, uh, meron pa tayong uh, equipment na gusto to set up when uh, we wrote the uh, Honorable uh, Senator uh, uh, Dick Gordon for a uh, uh, ventilator, kasi they ask us, sabi ko, we only have one. Maanda ko ba, Berna? Inverting ventilator? I don't know if it, it, it is functional, so they ask me kahit apat lang. And then I even asked in our letter, and through uh, Dr. Susi Mercado, about yung uh, cardiac monitors, for example, especially those that will be intubated. Isinama rin natin yung request natin dyan na kuhan, laryngoscope. No? Oo, nag-request tayo yung laryngoscope and 2,500 PPEs. So, let's hope that this will uh, all come so that uh, we can uh, actually uh, perform the, uh, the treatment 
for COVID-19 as per uh, DOH standards. So the reason being I wanted to write a letter for mass swabbing of healthcare workers is that in our institution it is really special. And now that we, we have postulated that probably, most probably, the infection came from the staff who are patients. It's the other way around from the other hospital, or in the patient come from hospital already infected. But in our institution, it probably came from the health worker who is coming in and out and infecting other patients. That is the reason why I would like to request the RNA or so many media kids to swap and test our employees. Well, uh, I do agree. No? Because if uh, the experts would ask me, how did your patient be became infected? So we did. So because the index case came from our health worker. Yung yun na yung 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 isang health worker natin sa pavilion we did. Kasi kasi kung titingnan mo, hindi naman lumalabas yung mga yan. They are placed in one area. They they should not be infected. So, tama si Noel. Sa, sa other hospitals, natatakot ang health worker sa pasyente. Kasi sila ang naging infect. But here, it's it's different. Kaya if uh, you ask for a uh, if you ask for a reconsideration with our ITM, na sana maswap itong basically our uh, uh, direct uh, frontliners, then I, I agree with that. In fact, in fact, I will take the uh, responsibility even if DOS does not like to use the rapid test to be bigyan niya ako ng rapid test, I will use it. At least I have this baseline screening uh, data for uh, the health workers and for our uh, uh, patients. Isa segregate mo lang ang positive from the negative. Uh, so, okay sa akin yan, Noel. Uh, nothing will be lost. For as long as it will be explained well, then it's already up to them, no? And later on, siguro, Noel, if uh, that will become negative, we will try to reach out to uh, and make a letter to our uh, COVID implementor, General Charles uh, Galvez, para tignan nila na gusto itong ating uh, manawagan. Okay. Now, uh, ano na nangyari, Juan? Uh, Today, no, dapat malaman natin if the uh, uh, community quarantine will be uh, lifted by April uh, 12. Oo. Eh, ano na ang latest news, uh, Noel? Sir, uh, this came just came from a reliable source. That, uh, with the announcement of the chief implementer, retired General Valdez, oh, yeah. that mass testing can only be conducted on April 14, which is still 11 days from now, we are left with no other choice but to extend the ECQ by at least two weeks. Mass testing of persons under monitoring and persons under investigation is the only way to determine if we are winning the war or not. Without mass testing, we are totally blind. We can consider relaxing the enhanced community quarantine during May 1 to May 30. Still no travel to and from Luzon. Still no malls, churches, mass gatherings. So this was, uh, I, I think, this, uh, the retired General uh, General Galvez would now recommend to yes for approval. So. In fact, even if you ask also experts, uh, they won't agree that uh, the uh, community quarantine will be uh, lifted by April 12. Mahmugang hilaw pa ang nangyayari. Yes, that is true. Now, uh, with that uh, concept, Noel, it is, just, uh, it is just necessary for us to actually request uh, our ITM we can do already this uh, this screening, no? I don't like to ask swap. for some very big number. That's why I want to ask the number of healthcare workers now who are coming regularly. So that we prioritize nothing to be swapped. If it's 
150 employees or 200 employees there. Yes, yes correct. Uh, she, uh, Jane gave us a list. No. Uh, meron doon na list last, uh, the last time that was given by uh, Miss Jane uh, Guzman on uh, the number of uh, nurses and nursing attendants who are on, on uh, home quarantine and who are admitted to the different hospitals. I don't know if kung nagbago yan, DJ, no? Hindi ko alam, kaya tignan natin mamaya yung uh, personnel. Kasi meron dito updates on personnel matters eh, kay Tina. Now, before we go to uh, the personnel and all other, uh, can we now uh, uh, have uh, Gadi yung uh, updates on uh, finance regarding uh, your risk pay, your overall time pay, and so forth and so on. Itotok mo yan so that our staff will know yung, uh, there is a recent uh, guidelines before it. Na binigay, medyo na late kasi guidelines gati when uh, the uh, risk pay was announced by our uh, president for the payment of at least 500 uh, uh, pesos per day for all those uh, uh, reporting physically for work, di ba? Okay. Signal nga natin na Gadi, what are our uh, uh, expected salaries, monetary benefits for our regular employees? Yes, yes, sir. So last Friday, uh, ipinos po namin itong announcement na to sa mga conspicuous spaces po, dun sa mga, uh, kung saan tayo nag-iinil daw, no, para mabasa ng ating mga employees. So for April 2, 2020, Pumasok na po yung hazard pay for the month of March 2020. Also, the longevity pay for January to March 2020. The salary increase differential, yan po yung tranche 1 uh, for January to February 2020 kasi yung March po is already adjusted na po sa tranche 1. Also, yung tax return po ng ating mga empleyado na i-ask na rin po sa ATM nila yan. Night shift differential for January and February 2020 na, na, may pasok na rin po, credited na po sa ATM. Yung first salary po ng ating mga bagong empleyado na period cover is August 5 to December 15, 2019 pumasok na rin po sa ATM ng ating mga bagong empleyado. And last Friday, yung pong COVID-19 hazard payroll eh, pumasok na rin po sa ATMs ng ating mga employees. Yan po yung ating mga monetary benefits na natapos natin last week. So, na-receive na po yan lahat ng ating mga employees. Okay. Now, ang uh, hindi nila mawari, no? uh, dapat eh, maulit-ulit na yan na uh, uh, gabi na sinasabihan ko sila. Pero, Bakit daw, no? bakit daw uh, ang akala nila na uh, sinabi ng ating uh, mahal na Pangulo na uh, lahat ng uh, government employee makakatanggap ng 500 pesos na risk pay nila daily. So ang kanilang uh, ano, gabi, ang kanilang pananaw, no? Ay, basta pumasok ka, eh, automatic na 500 na ang idadagdag sa sahod mo. Yan ang mga tanong ng ating mga kasamahan sa gobyerno, lalo na dito sa mental health, mental hospital, na ang sinasabi, sinabi daw ni Presidente sa TV na 500, basta pumasok ka na headquarter. So, kaagad, Akala nila sa 22 days na pumasok sila, 
11,000 na yan kung i-multiply mo yung uh, 22 times 500. So, hindi, hindi, hindi pa kasi walang uh, guidelines. Hindi naman kapag nagsilita ang presidente, policy lang yan. Hindi naman yung guidelines, i-explain niya sa'yo. Pero, so, pwede balikan natin yan gati kasi yes, ang daming hindi naniniwala. Bakit daw uh, uh, lit-lit ng kanilang natatanggap kaya sabi ng presidente, 500 per day. Okay, no. uh, last Friday din po, sir, uh, pinaskill din po namin sa conspicuous places yung budget circular number 2020-1, dated March 24, 2020. And the subject of the budget circular is the guidelines of the grant of the COVID-19 hazard pay. Siguro po, much paganda na i-post ko po na yun. Siguro i-post mo muna para makita. Maganda i-post mo para makita lahat eh. No? Kung ano talaga yung uh, nakasaad sa uh, polisiya ng DBM para gadi malaman ng bawat isa. Kasi mahirap yung, uh, yung uh, tanong ng tanong. Okay, uh, ang tinatry ko na i-enlarge ni Mr. Romel Rodriguez sa ating project, uh, projected ano, slide is yung 4.5 na provision po ng budget circular. Ang sinasabi ko sa 4.5, personnel who are already entitled to hazard pay hazardous duty pay, hazard allowance, or other similar benefits under existing laws, issuances, rules, and regulations, such as public health workers, public social workers, science and technology personnel, and military and uniform personnel, shall continue to be entitled to such benefits or the COVID-19 hazard pay whichever is higher. So yun po yung uh, key word to on or phrase, yung pong sinasabing whichever is higher. So kaya po nagkaroon tayo ng differential kasi yung iba ibang empleyado po natin is mababa yung kanilang hazard pay uh, in comparison with COVID-19 hazard pay which is 500 a day. So nagkaroon po ng differential para may provide yung hinihingi ng batas na 500 pesos per day para sa mga kuwapasok sa ECQ period. Yun po yung sinasabi ng budget circular natin. Yung pong 500 na yun na sinasabi naman sa para sa mga contractual or job order, ang contractual po natin at saka job order, wala po silang regular hazard pay. So sinasabi po ng budget circular na kung ang pumasok ang pumapasok na contractual or job order eh wala siyang regular hazard pay maka-receive siya ng 500 pesos na buo so yun po ang binabanggit sa budget circular 2020-1 at kagaya po nung nasabi ko kanina nagpaskill po tayo niyan sa mga conspicuous areas natin dito sa hospital para maging guide na rin po ng mga ating Okay. Uh, yeah. Gabi, uh, binabato ko lang sa'yo yung mga, alam mo uh, na, mga comment ng mga tao. Yes, no. Sabi nila, ano ba naman yan? Eh, biro mo ang uh, mga contractual o job order, mas malaki pa ang hazard pay sa amin. Yan ang mga tanong nila. Kasi daw, kapag uh, ikaw ay uh, job order or contractual, wala ka naman talagang hazard pay. So, kung pumasok ka ng 22 days, i-multiply mo by 500, that is 11,000. Yes. Ay, di ba? Ngayon, yung iba, no, especially, uh, yung iba, no, sabi nila, kasi meron na silang dating hazard pay, 
Kung inaawas na yung dating hazard pay nila, tapos uh, idadagdag mo, which ever is higher, eh sabi nila, bakit daw yung mga contractual, mas malaki ang natatanggap. Pero, gadi, yes. alam ko naman yung mga rules, pero gusto ko ikaw na lang ang sapagot niya. Uh, babasahin ko po yung part ng budget circular 2020 plus 1 na nagsasabi na yung mga contractual at saka mga job orders ay uh, makakatanggap po ng 5 
report ay 495 sa ating nursing attendants at saka registered midwives. Okay. Now, ilan ngayon ang hindi nagre-report sa nursing service kasama ang nurses, nursing attendant at saka registered midwives? Ang hindi na nagre-report as of nung sinulatan niya ako nung April 2 at ako, April 3, is 295. So, laha, ang nagre-report nila na nurses is 232. Ang nagre-report na attendants and registered midwives is 495. So, ang total na nagre-report is 727. 295 ang hindi na nagre-report. Okay. TJ, uh, alamin mo nga kung meron pang dagdag yan sa hindi mga nagre-report? Sige, okay. Now, can, if you have a kwan, meron kang uh, ilalagay dyan or ibay, ano na lang? Meron kang... Okay. Ready, don't So, ano yung, uh, yung update mo up to anong day? So, tignan mo ito. Tignan mo itong ano natin. Is that correct as of the moment? O, o nabawasan pa o nadagdagan na? Uh, ako po sa tingin ko nadagdagan. Wala kang uh, number kung ilan ang... Uh, Pinapalit pa lang po na. Kasi sa ako po lang po na lang na ilang akong... So, ang ibig mong sabihin, uh, nadagdagan na ang hindi nagre-report? Yes po. Okay. Now, uh, kailan natin malalaman yung, uh, yung uh, para makita namin how things are going? Sige po, bigay ko mo within the day. Sige. Pero sa tingin mo, umaabot na ba sa kalahati ng 7, di ba 300, sabi mo na lang yan, 295 eh. Nasa 400 na ba ang hindi nagre-report sa tingin mo? Hindi pa naman po. Hindi pa. Okay. So ang uh, kwan, ang ibig sabihin lang nitong data natin, no? 727 tina ang physically na nagre-report eh, as of April 2 or 3. So yan lang ang involved sa risk pay. Kasi ang risk pay is personal, physical no? na nagre-report sa nursing service. Pero sabi ni TJ, baka matatagdagan yan kasi maraming hindi na, na, hindi na rin nagre-report. Okay. Sino ang kasama mo, TJ, ngayon sa nursing service? <laughs> Ikaw lang. And uh, how do you communicate? Ang gumawa dyan, di ba, si Miss Jane? Si Miss Jane ba, nag-uusap kayo na pwede siya nagkokong Nagko-compute. Ito nga po. Uh, so, nung nalaman ko po, nung pinagsawa pa ako ni Dr. Reyes about po nangyari kay Ms. Jane, nag-form po ako nagawa ng group chat na lang po muna sa social media para makausap po po lahat ng mga supervisor. At the same time, lahat po ng head nurses. So, ngayon po, uh, napag-usapan din ako pwede na umaga or dinarin ko na po sila na lahat po Kuhanin po yung, uh, sino po yung naka-PUI, PUM, ilang days na sila naka-quarantine, kung saan sila naka-quarantine, at kung naswag na po sila. I think meron tayo, nasaan yung quad? Yung nurse natin na yung isa. Ano yung pangalan na? TJ din. Ano pangalan yun? TJ din. Nasaan na? Ay, parang ng nurse, sir. Nasaan? PH4. Okay. Uh, kasi gusto kong malaman yung uh, nireport niya sa atin uh, last Friday na meron siyang uh, numbers na pinresent of patients with PM and then with PUIs tapos meron nakalagay doon no data na, mar na marami 
things. Oh, so I said na hindi pwede na no data yan. It's either it's PUN, PUI, or uh, COVID positive. Oh. So tingnan mo nga, meron sa kanyang list of those uh, uh, patients with PUI. Tapos nakalagay doon kung ilan ang PUI na doktor, kung ilan ata ang uh, nurses, or hindi niya pa na-segregate. Baka yun ang ginagawa niya. Kasi sinabihan ko siya na if you are uh, scrutinizing the documents of the uh, screening area, sigurado doon kapag uh, in-interview ka, ilagay mo doon yung pangalan mo and then yung section kung nasal ka. So, mag-determine mo if they uh, are coming from the nursing service and then that will be divided into uh, nursing attendant or nurses. Nakalagay naman doon, nurse ka or nursing attendant or midwife. So, with the other groups, para makita natin no, the uh, actual uh, workforce that we are uh, uh, implementing. And of ganyan, uh, there has to be fine-tuning of uh, our schedules. No? Did you uh, implement already your 12 hour schedule, uh, TJ? Existing na po yun, nagbibigyan na po sila ng 12 hours. Ah, hindi ko na masyado na ibigyan na. It's, yes, ganun na lang. Hindi. Did you implement the 12 hour uh, uh, schedule that uh, we uh, discussed last Friday? Opo. Uh, except for the Pavilion 28 po sana. 28? 8. Okay. Kung so, lockdown po pa siya, sana po pati yung mga, mga nurses. Waiting naman po yung iba doon na mag-stay na lang din doon. Rather mm -hmm. na upido sila, meron po kasi nakatira sa uh, kainta. At uh, some of them, reliever. Hindi talaga sila yung nurse doon. So nagkakaroon po na iba-iba din po mapako. Sa so, pavilion 28? Mapo. So what are the measures done after that? Alangan naman na wala tayong uh, Diyan. Pero hindi nila iniwanan. Hindi naman po nung nawawala ng tao doon. Except for yun na po, kung sa mga awards, sa halit, tapos the following day, wala mo bibliuti, pukuha ng ibang nurse from other pabibliu. Well, siguro, may masabi stigma na doon sa PT, pero Uh, kung meron doon na gusto mag uh, uh, overtime, then tell them. Oh, we will we will uh, remunerate, huh? and, and we will provide beds. Make sure holding beds was a nurse station okay. if they want, mm -hmm. and then we will include the nurse station as uh, disinfection every eight hours. Yun nga po sana, mas maganda para talagang... Sige, uh, sige inuusin mo teacher niya yun, yung number of personnel yes. that are willing no, para mag-enda rin yung mga beds and then may inform kong pinas kung yun ang gano'n sa nakatagal ng julio. Pag-request niya ka sila, ang parang nabasin ka, pwede Ano, ano? Yung pag-prepare po na mag-meals. Ma'am? Luluto. Hindi, that mamaya, we will go into that uh, phase. No? Kasama, kasama yan sa i-discuss natin yung last kasi kaya nandiyan si Mrs. Kublan. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we do not encourage them na magluto na kasi social distancing. Kasi masama po yan. No? Uh, sige, mamaya i-discuss natin about the provisions of kanyan. Kasi, may mga nurses din kasi binigay ko yung aking uh, number eh. So sabi nila, no, ang hirap na yung grab na mag-deliver din sa ganon. So, kaya in-include ko. Meron na akong gagawin na polisiya dyan. Oh, sige. Huwag muna natin pag-isapan yung food. Yung pan lang. Yung nag-duty at saka 
yung mga uh, PPEs na no, for the Anyway, in Pavilion 28, no, naswap na natin lahat ng 42 ba? O ilang ba ang pasyente dyan? No? Okay, so, uh, tama naman. So, we have to ask na ang nagkulang yung transport. O kung hindi na lang daw yung binibigay na ang repair. And yung kung ba sa Asia? O, sir, yung naswap na. Oo. Nialagay pa nila sa isang container yan, sa transport container. Yung transport container na nagkukulang. Ah, okay. Sandali, saan ko yung nakuha yung transport? Sa IPM yan. So, ito yan yung isama mo na sa sulat mo. Oh, sir. Well, dagdagan ng transport. Sir, the media is arriving here frozen. Naka-frozen yan, sir. Tapos tinoto lang pagka merong poor swapping. Okay, si pwede natin yung network yan kaya sa isang charter. Pwede, isulat mo na lang, address mo kay Nestor. Tapos, through si Carlos. Then, uh, oh, correct. Para mas dumami ang kwan natin, yung sinasabi niyo for transport ng media. Uh, because uh, we really wanted to know, no, especially in Pavilion 28, who should be uh, uh, isolated or segregated already from, uh, the, from the group. So ano pa ang uh, mga issues and concerns dyan, uh, TJ? Pamayan na yung kwan, yung pagkain, no? For example, na transportation naman ang problema. Kung kung halimbawa kung may carriage natin, sila siguro mag-stay here, baka pwede po natin sunduin. Mag-stay? Mag-stay dito. Oo! Di ba, meron kami temporary shelter na 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 nilagay, kaya na tayo bumili ng bed. Yes. Because we really wanted yung mag-judun eh, kung gusto nila mag-stay muna, then stay here. The problem po yung transport ko punta dito. Uh, kung pwede po, masundo na lang natin. Pwede Anong uh, transport mo punta dito? Yung to, ah, uh, pagpunta nila dito, from the residence po, sa bahay nila. Susundo yun natin sa bahay? Meron kasi sa Fairview, sa Insta, Uh, uh, yeah, they, they are reporting every day for work. Can you do it? Yes, po. Tapos, nakatira sila sa peer review. Mm -hmm. Ang request is that susunduin sila araw-araw. Hindi po. Kung uh, susunduin natin, mag-stay na sila dito. Uh, ano, ano, para hindi na po maging problema ang transport. Ano, ano, pero so, ang so, dumaan natin ngayon niya, TJ, you have nurses na willing to go to work but cannot go because of transportation. Yes, po. So okay. if we fetch them, bring them here, provide them with a temporary shelter, they'll be staying here. Okay. So one time, sunduan lang. Okay. Okay. Pwede siguro kung one time. Hmm. O oh, pero yung, yung sinasabi mo na, na every day siguro, hindi. Kasi ganito yung ginawa ng gobyerno. Hindi lang naman sa National Center for Mental Health dyan. Ang ginawa ng gobyerno, For all health workers, naglagay sila ng mga sasakyan sa specific areas. If you come from the north, sa may Quezon City ata ilalagay yung mga DOTR buses. If you come from the east, sa may ano sila naglagay, uh, may uh, before uh, Kainta. Kainta. And then if you come from the south, sa may ano, Hall of Asia. So yun, no? And the reason for that is that kailangan pag uh, health worker kas, health worker lang naman ang pinapapasok at sa ito mga kwad, mga grocery kwad. But, ang health worker may separate na mga sasakyan. So yun yung ano, yun yung uh, areas uh, from the south, Moa, Kainta, and then dito sa May Quezon City. Pagdating dito sa Kwan, dito sa loob ng mismong uh, Mandaluyong, meron, meron tayong libreng sakay na umiipot kay Mayor na nako-ordinate natin. Mm -hmm. no? So that is, that is the, uh, the uh, solution made by government kasi kung, kung may sarili kang mga uh, sasakyan, which is 
next to impossible sa lalo na sa mental a ah, apat ata tatlo lang ang, ang mga sasakyan natin kaya si iba ba diyan naka-standby kasi kung may nag-positive diyan sa sa screening and triaging eh kung tayo ang maghahatid kung walang uh, LGU no so iyon yung scheme na ginawa nila now kaya tayo naglagay ng temporary ano temporary uh, shelter dahil ang sinasabi ng iba every day daw ang hirap maghintay dun sa sa bus na ginawa ng gobyerno eh, hindi lang naman tayo ang uh, nahihirapan diyan lahat naman ng hospital ng, uh, ng gobyerno naghihintay doon no so nung nag may mga nag-request sa mami, management committee na bakit hindi na lang tayo maglagay ng temporary shelter kung hindi sila makauwi, hindi ka sila. Kaya gumawa tayo ng mga pilisan na temporary shelter. And then the, the reason why, wala naman tayong bed eh. The reason why, we decided na maghanap sila ng bed. Kaya eh, swerte, nakahanap si, si Jerry, uh, Mr. Jerry Rodriguez ng bed para mailagay yan. Now, pero in-identify noon ng mga areas, yung easy call, Mabuti na tapos na, yung tinignan ko, sabi ko, huwag nyo mo nang lagyan. Kasi sa tingin ko, no, dapat yung uh, tulugan naman ng health worker, medyo okay kasi magdumi ang wall, mga everything. So ngayon, napinturahan. In fact, uh, Dr. Reyes sent me a picture yesterday. Malinis. Ang hindi na lang napinturahan kasi wala tayong magbili na epoxy paint or rubber paint, kaya hindi na napinturahan yung floor. Pwede na yan na uh, 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 tina na lagyan nyo ng beds medyo mahaba yan 20 siguro yan o, ngayon yung Sinag elementary school meron ng natutulog doon ng mga nurses at nursing attendant dito naman sa ano sa ATS meron ng natutulog na ng araw tatlo ngayon parang nagdagdagan ng dalawa tapos may nagdagdag ng isa anim na pero ano yan that is good for uh, 13 pero ng beds doon. So what we are saying in effect is like this. Yung mga, mga sinasabi mo sa nursing service na gustong magpahinga o uh, uh, i-rest mo na nila na hindi mo na umuwi, then they can go there basta magpalista lang. Now, marami na naman yung, yung mga pilosi mo na bakit kailangan pa magpalista kay Tina? Of course, kailangan meron tayong sistema kasi pagsamasamahin niya yung mga babae, pagsasamasamahin niya yung mga lalaki, at saka malalaman natin kung ilan talaga ang official na patutulogin natin doon. Now, meron lang i-request ang management. Dalhin mo yung sarili mong beddings. Magdala sila ng sarili nilang beddings at ilalatag doon sa bed na ibibigay na parang position mo ng personnel. O after that, pwede ka nang matulog, nakalista, nadyan ka. Hindi naman po pwede na bigla ka na lang, uh, yung anarchy yun eh, yung diretso ka na lang ito, matulog na lang bigla. Hindi naman. Kailangan meron tayong sistema. Kasi at the end of the day, eh, there is always accountability sa action natin. Huwag na natin gayahin ng araw na parang bara-bara. We have to follow certain protocols and policies and guidelines. So yun ang sinasabi ko. Pwede mong sabihin sa nurses, sa nursing attendant, na pwede silang mag-stay dyan. The word is temporary shelter. Ang ibig sabihin niya, kapag ito, na-lift, na-lift na yung uh, uh, tinatawag natin na community quarantine, enhanced quarantine, or lockdown, then, pwede nang umuwi. So, this management has done this, eh. And we did it very fast. Oh. So, pwede pa pakisabi mo, kung meron talagang one, meron talagang mga nurses na gustong uh, gamitin yan, ipalista lang. Walang masama ito, ililista lang. Tapos, ang ginagawa kasi ng one, ng uh, personnel, parang ginagawa na yun ng sistema, 
nakalagay yung pangalan mo sa isang area na saan ka nakalagay. Parang yung voters uh, place na o, dito nga boboto, nandun yung pangalan mo. Hindi yung pasok ka lang kahit saan matutulog ka, hindi naman ganoon. Kasi meron tayong guidelines doon. Kapag nailagay ka doon sa area na yan, meron din policy yan doon. Bawal ang mag-inom. Bawal ang uh, mag-inig. Kailang malinis. Bawal din yung uh, maraming, maraming restrictions. Kasi the purpose is resting for the next duty day to come. Yun yun. No? So please lang ha. Meron kami ginawang policy yan yan. Dalawang linggo na ata eh. And mamaya, magpa-update ako kay Tina kung sinunan lahat na dyan. Now, yung isang tanong ko, Noel, ang may tanong siya eh, meron daw nurse na gusto mag-duty. Na pag sinundo mo sila, hindi na sila uuwi. Yung may ibig mong sabihin. Now, ibigay mo yung pangalan kay Dr. Noel kung sino-sino itong mga nurses. Oo. Baka naman yan, nasa Neve Ecija. Ay yung mga ganun ba? No, that is next to impossible. So, kasi we are already uh, uh, under power. We are no longer in the normal situation. Eh. Kaya ka tayo nagbibigay. Hindi eh, naman tayo talaga nagbibigay ng overtime pay. Eh. But the reason why nagbibigay tayo ng overtime pay, para hindi ang bayad off. Kasi kapag nag-off ka, mawawalan ka ng tao. Ganun lang kasimple. Kaya yung imagination should be limited to dapat ang sasabihin natin ilag ang gusto mag-duty. Hindi yung ilag ang gusto ituloy-tuloy mo na one week yan, mag-off ka ng one week, then it does not make sense. Para po yung isa naman po uh, dapat ka rin hiyebon yan, yun naman po mag-duty. Hindi kasi kung i-maximize mo yan, kunwari, dapat, nung araw, tatlo yan. Gawin mo muna ng dalawa para may isa na buwan. I-alternate mo nga eh. Pero kung sumusopra siya, sa 40 hours a week, yun ang babayaran ng gobyerno. Uh, siguro mag-usap kayo ng Latina, no? Kasi it has to be based still on uh, existing fund laws. Kaya lang, yung sinasabi mo na susunduin, ibigay mo, ilan ba yan? Saan ba na nakatira? Kasi hindi pwede yung... yung ay, hindi, hindi. You, you submit this so that uh, there will be a system that should be employed. Tapos, pag nagsundo yan, yung magkakalapit na area, minsanan yan. Sino ba yung mga yan? And are they aware na susunduin sila? Baka nga, yeah, pagdating mo doon sa lugar, sino, bakit kayo nandito? Nakaano ako? Di ba? So you give all the details. Dapat ganun. Okay. Now, uh, to connect this, dapat din na sabi mo sa amin ano na ang nangyayari sa temporary shelter. You, we, we should talk here of the actual. Huh? Yung sa temporary shelter natin, yung sa babae, dapat pa sa babuan ay pa na na sa
Ano, nakasave na yun? Nakasave yun? Hindi, yeah, nakasave yun? Para makapagay. Sige yan. Nagre-record pa yun? Tumuloy lang yun? Tuloy lang yung record niya? O bago na yun? Ito, uh, announcement to all of you from Dr. Curry. Ang sinasabi niya, Dumlao. Good morning, Dr. Cortez. We expect PPEs to be delivered today. We have prioritized the National Center for Mental Health and Jose and Rodriguez Hospital. The person to sign our acknowledgement receipt is Miss Linda Espinosa, right? How about the food delivery tomorrow? The same month. And then, ang role ni Linda, ilalagay niya ngayon yan sa book of accounts, tapos tatawagan niya ang ating famous doctor, si Dr. Noel Reyes, para ibigay yung PPEs, para ibigay yung food, where it is to be distributed. Well, okay lang po sa'yo yung ganun. Basta ang ating policy, 
frontliners sa different pavilions and then yung front yung, yung I do not consider you a second frontliner yung support group na talaga nagpupuyat din dyan bigyan ng tulong okay pabayaan nyo na kami ni Noel huwag nyo na kami intindihin pero si Noel intindihin nyo kasi siya natutulog dito no so the same sasagutin ko ha the same person for the food. We really would like to thank you for your generosity. and we pray that God will always protect Okay, with that, so I already texted uh, uh, Dr. Curry that uh, you will be receiving the PPEs and then also yung uh, acknowledgement receipt and yung mga food delivery tomorrow. The delivery will be tomorrow, just this. Okay, so can you please continue, Tina? Uh, ito po as of yesterday morning, is a pavilion one po, very much. As of yes, yesterday, yesterday, so. Saturday morning. Mga tatong ako na rin. Five. Okay. Hmm. Nung sa pagwan, meron pong tatong doctors. Yung sa ATS, ito po yung mga female. Meron the pagwan is actually under Dr. Noel. Uh, it can accommodate 21. Uh, it can accommodate 21 uh, staff for temporary shelter. So, ilan na as of yesterday, tatlong doctor sa Pavilion 1? Opo. Yung ATS po, yan yung male, meron tayong anim na occupants. Tapos yung sa Sinag School, meron 11 occupants. Pero dapat kagabi, may darating na dalawang NA. Hindi ko lang na-consume this morning kung nakaransin sila sa bed. Okay. Now, um, 
Sabihan mo ito, mag-coordinate ka TJ dyan, no? Because the SINA is uh, an exclusive uh, area for uh, nurse and nursing attendants, I think. And uh, we have about 20, the okay, una, 8, 8, 16. And then there is a last uh, room where we can even accommodate about 3 or 4. So, ang uh, expected uh, occupants yan would be uh, 16 plus 3 is 19 or 20. O so, 11. So, meron ka pang difference dyan uh, of about um, 9. Tapos yung ATS, pang lalaki yan. Ilagay mo kasi Tina, ang pavilion 1 is for female. Ang uh, ATS is for male. Ang sinat is for female. And then, next to open is the PS, PSR training room. Okay. Pag bibilang natin yung FA, 30 na yung occupants ng sinat. Kung dumating sila na gabi. Ano, ano? Pag iaad natin yung dumating na FA sa gabi, 13 na sila. 13? Oo. Ito ang film ko lang kung nakarating sila kagabi kasi naka-off sila ng Friday, Saturday so Sunday nandito sila dyan daw sila mag-upload So, uh, dapat it has to be uh, uh, you have to revalidate that through the uh, dormitory manager kung wala, eh, patanong mo na lang Actually, doc, sinibala yung dormitory manager natin na that should be uh, uh, opened later on kapag napuno na, uh, napuno na ang ATS because that is male occupants yung, uh, yung uh, easy comb that is male occupants am I right? kung male yun kaya ano mo, i-type mo yan no? ang pavilion one it, 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 kasi tulad ni TJ ngayon lang nag-aattend ng meeting natin at saka yung iba baka hindi nila alam Ang pavilion one is mainly female ang, uh, and doctors. Ang uh, ATS is mainly male. Ang SINAD is mainly female. Ang PSR, ano yan? Is only for female. And then, ang uh, EZCOM is only for male. Uh, what is now the status, I believe, of uh, the medical center chief quarters? Is there a uh, pinalinis ko yun eh, no? Good morning po. Balik sa yung sa staff cottage ko na yung director. Ongoing po yung ceiling, pero yung sa electrical sir, kompleto na po yun. And then after ng ceiling painting na po. Yung ceiling, nakita ko na nagpinicture ni Dr. Noel is already... Yes sir, may mga kaunti lang kung dapat okay. ito is pa sir. And then painting na po. Tapos yung one, yung window, kahit na may yung mga may screen na lang, kahit na may mga na lang, yung window. Then, pinare-repair po natin yung Easter going room sa second floor, sir. Main door po yung entrance. Para po doon na sila dadaan, sir, sa labas. Okay. Oh, correct. Uh, that was the uh, assessment of uh, the engineering. Hindi na pwede yung dumaan ka sa labas na you go to the second floor. Sa loob na lang daw. Now, that would be intended for female, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yung uh, medical center chief 2. Maganda yun. No, kasi may sariling mga ilan ang banyo nyo? Isa, dalawa, tatlo. Tatlo ang banyo niya. No? Nakita natin, Jerry. Eh kung malinis lang yun, 
lagyan mo ng beds, then I think maganda rin. No? Ang uh, problema noon, we, uh, we check the uh, water supply, okay? Yung uh, mga bulbs lang. No? Hindi umiilaw yung iba. See, saan siya naka-quarantine? Home? Kay? Si Jay, nasa bahay na. Umuwi? Talagang, TJ, ikaw talaga ang uh, na-pipisil na disaster. Uh, oh, kaya ka pala na ilagay sa disaster. Oh, and then ang pinakalas dyan, we identified the pavilion 30 offices. Eh. But you know, wag mo mo nang galawin yun unless mapuno lahat dyan. No? So, yung uh, sinasabi mo, TJ, no, to, to go back, you submit the names of those nurses na, na magpapasundo with their address. And then you try to ask them talaga if they would come. Baka mamaya pagdating doon, siya sabihin, ay hindi ako pwede, ganun-ganun, no. Because you, we are also having some degree of uh, support sa ating mga drivers. In fact, I told Noelle, eh, Ang mga driver din natin, hindi natin dapat pabalaan niya. Nakita niyo yung mga driver na uh, bus, naka-ano naka, sila, naka-i-i-i-i, na mag-a-ano na mga uh, expertise ng ating na OFW. So yan. Issue beds. So, i-future niyo yan, no? i-ganyan mong pakita mo. So, we have now uh, 20 actual uh, uh, occupants of the different areas. ATS, anim. Uh, spatial school, 11. But, sabi ni Tina, kung nag-report yung dalawa, magiging 13. Pavilion 1 is 3. And uh, ATS, is six. Oh, yeah, that's like a female, male. Okay. So, ilan ang nagpalista? Parang na to may lumalag kayon na sa hindi ko pa nabila kasi kanina sumaba meron kung nagpalista hindi ko pa nakita sila. Pero na sa one hundred na kilo ang estimate ko po na kasi minsan na So, uh, is that uh, clear na, TJ? Para alam mo kung sino itong mga nurses and with this coordination, tignan mo lang yung mga number, kumuha ka para alam mo kung saan sila ilalagay. And in coordination, of course, with the, uh, ano, uh, Tina of the Human Resource Management Office. Okay. Now, uh, Tina, uh, can you give us an update with the civil service? O, oh, ilagay mo doon. Kasi, uh, there is a civil service rules na update. Ang uh, sinasabi ni Latina, uh, I don't think it is true na you know, order mo raw na hindi ipapalo yung quarantine rules and everything. Of course not. Ang kailangan lang is we should follow civil service rules and regulations on COVID-19. Kasi dapat lang uh, anything that we do, para yung sinasabi natin sa finance, Anything that they do is based on existing policies, existing guidelines, and laws. At saka po, bago po naman mag-report yung mga tao, ang 
Kaya nga Tina, uh, I would like this to be very clear kasi uh, may mga taong naninira eh, sa ano, Facebook daw. Hindi ko alam kung ano ang Facebook eh. Oh, hindi, hindi rin ako niyan kasi ang platform ng Facebook, ikaw ang maglalagay ng, ng gusto mo eh. Kaya kung gusto mong manira ng tao, dito. Oh, hindi yan ang kuhan. Uh, meron bang Facebook ang NCMH? Meron? Hindi, yung, yung for NCMH lang na official uh, documents that are released. Ano ano? Hindi official. Ba't hindi ka gumawa ng parang DOH na official Facebook na lahat ng dinidiscuss natin na policy, lahat ng dinidiscuss natin na guidelines, doon mo ilalagay para ang mga tao hindi, hindi gumagawa ng mga fake. Hindi group chat. I don't care about group chat. What we care about is that a uh, platform where all guidelines should be placed. Nando, para mabasa nila. Gumawa ka ng ganun. Ang DOH meron eh. Lahat ng agency meron yan. So ito yung uh, Facebook uh, account ng uh, NCMH na walang fake dyan. Pero once and for all, doon sila tubigin. Di ba? Kasi maraming, ano eh, maraming naninira na tao kung ano-ano nilalagay nila. Eh, sila lang naman yan ng kwan. Sila lang naman yan ang naglalagay doon. Eh, kung picturein ko nga si Bernard ngayon eh, na nakaganyan, sasabihin ko, si Bernard may sakit. Isipin mo, pinicture ko siya, tapos ilalagay mo doon, may sakit. Without verification. Oh, yan. Yun. So, lahat ng ating kwan, pen, uh, lahat ng ating official na, na pinag-uusapan sa COVID-19 na kwan natin, eh, dyan natin ilalagay. Oo, oh, oh, yan. Oh, sino yun? Ako ba yan? Mukhang, uh, mukhang photogenic. Yan, yeah, real time. Exactly. Oo. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, lahat ng i-discuss natin ko after Noe, uh, Romel, i-ano natin dyan, no? yung mga sinabi ni, ni Dr. Rosiludo, yun, hindi fake yun. Yung sinabi ni Dr. Noel, hindi fake yun. Yung sinasabi ko kanina, hindi fake yun. Oh. Oh, yan. Yeah. O, oh, tulad niya. Meron tayong uh, tumutulog sa atin. Hindi fake yan. Hindi fake yan. Correct. Tama yan. Hmm. For transparency. Lahat nga, Linda, lahat nga nga nag-donate, ilagay ko dyan. For tra transparency reason. Di ba? Okay, ilagay mo dun sa real time ka. Tapos, uh, si ano do? Si Tina, can you please Give us an update dun sa sinasabi mo kung may bago. Ito po yung memorandum circular, uh, number 8. Pwede ipakita natin dun para i-focus nyo na lang kuhan. I-focus nyo. Yeah. Ito po yung memorandum circular, number 8, 2020. Ngayon, ang sinasabi ko ay revised interim guidelines on the use of leave credits for absences due to quarantine and or treatment relative to the coronavirus uh, disease 2019. Sandali, bugulo. Sandali, bakit? Ayan bugulo. Yung, ayan yung title page niya. So this was uh, uh, MC number 8, series of 2020, sa bago yan. Okay. okay. Tapos yung next and then, uh, these are the revised interim guidelines on the use of leave credits for the absence due
due to quarantine or treatment relative to the coronavirus uh, 2019. Okay, now, can you actually uh, give us the, the details, uh, Tina, para walang haka-haka? Ano ba talaga ang uh, guidelines and the use of lead credits for absences due to uh, uh, quarantine or treatment relative to COVID-19. Next, next slide. Yun sa guideline. Ayan po. Ilagdan po ng asterisk. Uh, Una-una, syempre, yung mga responsibility natin as government officials to ensure na we prevent the spread of COVID-19 infection. But, uh, Tina, can I cut you short muna? I think this guideline shall apply to all public sectors, uh -huh. no? All officials and employees of government, regardless of status of appointment, permanent, temporary, provisional, substitute, co-terminus, casual, contractual, or fixed term, including local elective officials. So this guideline, Tina, is all uh, intended for the sectors of government employees. Hindi ba? Okay, so you are now explaining to us the uh, guidelines on 3.3 that says that all officials and employees in the public sector who came from official or personal local travel who were categorized as persons under monitoring, yung PUM na tinatawag, and persons under investigation, yung PUI, shall undergo the required 14 calendar days quarantine in their homes or any appropriate health facility. Okay. Tapos yung 3.4. Then uh, itas mo. Oh, So, anong ibig sabihin niya yung mga nagtatanong, Tina? Ano ang ibig sabihin nun na ang pinag-uusapan? Eh, kasi yung iba do, ang binibilang kasi ni dapat eh, baka binibilang nila yung 14 days. Pero ang pinag-uusapan ko is the calendar day. So, kasama sa bilang yung weekend. Hindi sila mag-basta-basta mag-expense 
ng 14 days kasi tatwiran nila, weekend naman yun. So, yun yung, yung pinag-uusapan. Tapos yung susunod, after the lapse, in the space room, after the lapse, uh, and that there is, the, the lapse, the lapse important day period, and there is a need for treatment of COVID, the subsequent absences in court shall be treated as follows. Yung those on official travel, uh, for those uh, sila ng required, shall be considered as use absence. For those under 3.8, yun ang excuse required sila sa ano, for the performance of duties. Tapos yung number B then, those on personal travel, uh, categories 1 and 2, and category 4, their period of treatment shall be considered sick leave. Against their so, anong ibig sabihin nun na uh, itcha-charge mo sila sa sick leave kapag sila ay? Yung number, yung number, category 1, 2, and 4. Ito po yun. Yung category 1, uh, pwede siya mag-sick leave kung kasi dapat, uh, dapat i-ano, Tina, kasi siyempre dapat maintindihan nila na Bakit ko i-file ng sick leave yan? Dahil? Kasi po yung sa category 1, yung coming from official or personal travel. Tapos uh, yung number 2, official or employees coming from official or personal travel. Pala yung number 1. Tapos yung number 4 po, yung government official and employees infected through local transmission due to personal and non-working data. So, yun po yung mas applicable sa buko sa atin, yung category 4. So, pag personal na, uh, personal or non-work related activities yung nakita yung COVID. So, after 14 days, we will consider 14 no more calendar. You're talking here of personal travel under uh, categories okay. ng 1, ng 2, and 4. The number 4 talk is, ano na, local transmission due to personal or non-work related. The period of their treatment shall be considered sickly chargeable. Even if it is a local transmission, oh, anong category yan? Uh, number, P four. P number, number four. Number four. Next page comment. Government officials and employees infected through local transmission due to personal or non-work related activities. Now, you're talking here of uh, acquiring COVID-19 due to perhaps uh, you, you got it from the community or you got it from personal, yung, yung family. So you're talking here of, uh, of a COVID-19 infection not in relation to work. Okay. So meron, meron ba tayong uh, list of uh, COVID-19 na infected in relation to work. No, yan ang mga dapat ayusin nyo. Who are those infected with COVID-19 that are not actually related to work? Yan ang hanapin nyo. Kasi before any uh, policy will be made in regard to uh, these leave credits and so forth and so on, it must have to be well defined. Kasi ito, nakalagay dyan, no? although there is local transmission, but it is due to personal and non-work related. So how will we know that the uh, infection was due to uh, personal and non-work related? Yes, yes. It's a bull's eye, Dr. Noel. Because Tina, in effect, cannot certify. It is the uh, the committee of uh, COVID-19, no? Noel, that can certify na talagang it was work-related or it was just a uh, leisurely uh, related uh, COVID-19. Uh, 
Yes. Oh, hindi to. Okay, I'm not related dito. Let's take the example that you stated about the surgeon who got it from the brother. No. It's not correct. Correct, correct, correct. So for example, as I understand, you've got to be acquired, a work related, you are not a very big deal. I mean, I, yeah. Like for example, in our triage, employees go there because they feel that they got exposed. So you, you got the uh, checklist. Where did you get exposed? So as a nurse, then it's a work related because it's not a mm -hmm. Pero pag sinabing, eh, well, ay, kasi yung tatay ko, mungo ka gabi. Kasi ganito yan. Uh, 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 sa tingin ko, it's very easy to do. Why? Okay. There was a case index. When we go back to the first case, yung case index natin, na, ano siya? Health worker sa isang pavilion. Okay. Do you think, where did the first case got the infection? Outside. So it is not work related. Kasi wala pa naman dito. Okay. Now, nag-contact tracing tayo. Kung sino ang nakausap nung, uh, nung ating uh, uh, health worker dito sa mental while they were working. Now, One tap tracing was done. Meron ngayon na segregate the PUIs at may nag-positive. Is that work related? Of course. Kasi nandito sila sa hospital na eh. Ang hindi work related si index case. Pero yung kinausap niya while they were here working already eh, is to work related uh, case. Meron lang kasimple. Oh, pero kunwari, kung kasi ako kaya pala nagka-COVID ako dahil yung brother ko ay positive. Eh, wala naman akong kinalaman dito sa trabaho na it's not work-related. So, yun lang ang ating definition ng work-related. When you got it from the institution while you are on duty. So, umatras tayo. Yung mga contact tracing na ginawa natin while they were working na hindi nila alam na si Evelyn Kunwari o si Lisa Kaplan, eh positive na pala. And then while I was working here, na, na infect niya ako, it's work related. Ganun lang kasimple ang gusto natin. Kaya sabi ko, the guidelines, of course, the government make guidelines, hindi yung well-defined. Well, well, well defined. So, kailangan din na maayos siya at uh, i-ano natin. Uh, kasi it's very uh, clear. Na although it is local transmission, but ililib mo yan, tatanggalan mo yan ng lip credit kung hindi siya work-related. Ganun lang ang ibig niyang sabihin. Okay? So it is becoming very clear and uh, we should redefine everything para ang mga tao hindi ma, ano tawag doon, hindi maguguluhan. Ano pa ang, uh, ang uh, updates? Tapos daw yung number pa, hindi ko naman alam kung meron sa akin sa Alin yung? Yung, yung last, last, last number okay. pa. Sige, I'm tignan natin. I'm not natin. sure kung meron applicable sa akin na yan. Pero yung those to travel without approved travel authority before or after the declaration of state of public emergency ang anong nila, they will be considered sick leave. Absence from work during the calendar days required quarantine period for COVID-19 shall be considered a sick leave and shall be deducted from the family credits. So, doon po yun sa pasok. Yung mga travel without travel. Yung uh, sinasabi mo, officials and employees of personal travel from countries or without localized Transmission. So, wala kong local transmission. Nag-travel ka lang. And then, uh, wala kong approved travel authority before or after the declaration of the state of public health emergency due to COVID-19 threat who underwent the required period of quarantine and for treatment for COVID-19. Ang sinasabi mo, ang kwan dyan, dapat 
tatanggalan mo sila ng sikli. Okay. Pero, ang tanong ko naman, eh kung official ka, an employee ka na nag-travel outside of the country, no? nung wala kong local transmission, wala kang approved travel authority, eh di kasuhan mo na lang ng kwan na hindi, bakit siya lumalabas ng country na walang travel authority, which is against uh, the law. Di ba? Huwag mo na lang tanggalan ng leave, kasuhan mo na lang na bakit nagta-travel siya without travel authority, which is mandated by law. Di ba? Pag 30 days, kailangan ang pipirma is the Secretary of Health no? Below 30 days, yung chief of the hospital or chief of the agency. No? O, ano mas mabigat? Yung uh, pagka-travel na walang travel authority o sick leave? <laughs> so, Tina, aralin nyo muna at i-hold in abeyance nyo lahat yung mga issuance nyo muna. Ha? It cannot be unless it will be well defined. Sasabi natin what is work related. Mga ganon, no? Okay. Now, uh, so ang plan mo, Tina, ang uh, ang uh, order mo is to uh, hold in abeyance lahat yung mga iniisip niyo muna tungkol dyan, ha? We will uh, uh, start with this. Okay. And lastly, no? Alas daw sa inyo pala. Lastly, Mrs. Goodland, no? Uh, what is now the status of one? Of uh, the dietary section because of the uh, limitations now of uh, movements of uh, businessmen and everything na with regards to the implementation of the food for our patient. Uh, sir, sa ngayon po naman, yung mga supplier namin, nakakadala naman po sila ng mga food na para sa pasyente. Although nung may time naman po na uh, may short na ganyan, mga ulay, pinapalitan lang namin po ng iba na pwede naman po na pati po sa amin na host schedule sa amin. But this, ano yun, because uh, MMS pumapayag yun because of the situation ngayon, di ba? Baka masita kayo ng bawa. Bakit hindi na na alam ang delivery? Hindi na rin nagigialam? Okay. Uh, may time kasi na ang supplier. Uh, Apo. Instead ko patatas, uh, ibarik yung mga ito. Okay, sir. Pag talagang wala ko kami makita na ilagay doon ang mga apritada nga ito at hindi pwede yung patatas, napalitan mo namin ang kamote. Bakit kamote ang dinilibat kung patatas ang order? Kasi po wala po silang makiuhang patatas kasi wala akong delivery hood. Now, when you get a certification from the supplier that, uh, that given day, wala silang makuhang patatas? Kasi I saw, in the TV, nakaraming patatas na nabubulog dyan eh. Parang ang problema sir, yung transport po, hindi nakakarating mo. Exactly, sa but when I always, if I am an auditor, would I believe you na walang patatas eh ang dami mong nakikita na sisira? Do you have any certification that you ask from the suppliers that there are no uh, uh, ano yan, uh, potatoes or whatever? Sige, sir, may upapit. And then, write them, ask them a letter. Mm -hmm. Na, uh, the reason why uh, they are delivering uh, sweet potato yun eh, yung isa eh, no? Mm -hmm. the, the other one is just a potato. So, the reason why the sweet potato is being delivered uh, in lieu of the potato is because it is not available in the market. So that, there has to be a certification. Yan naman sir, magalang naman. Did you ask for certification? Sir, so, actually, hindi yun lang naman ng basis sa akin. Kaya nga, even if it is just today, did you ask for certification? We will be asking. You ask for certification because these are uh, accountability not only of the supplier but of course tayo kasi in the contract itself nothing has been said about sweet potato potato lang yun eh ha? so gawin nyo yan ha? in all aspect kung nag ano sila ng replacement because of uh, the uh, so called uh, COVID-19 lockdown or uh, uh, itong uh, enhanced quarantine then tell them to certify. Protection nyo yan eh. Yes, you certify. Okay? Yes, 
Now, uh, maraming nagte-text sa akin no, asking for uh, compassion. No? Yung mga nag-duty sa gabi, lalo na they cannot eat because there is no grab. Ano ba yung grab? Pakakala ko yung uh, nakaagaw ng uh, sa motor. No? Wala daw. And uh, just, they are not asking for so much. Pwede bang uh, bilangin mo na lang yung mga duty sa gabi? At uh, o kaya kahit na kuwan siguro na uh, lungs, yung mga frontliners natin, lalo-lalo na yan sa Pavilion 7. Uh, yung, uh, may, may paggabi ba na well sa kuwan sa ER? Oh. Yung mga yan, mga ER. Kasi pinapakain din natin ang ano tawag dito, ang screening and trials. Eh. Pwede bang uh, magluto ka ng uh, para sa kanila at uh, bilangin mo, TJ, kung ilang ang, uh, ang uh, health worker doon para naman ma si Dr. Noel, hindi niya po problema kung sino niya mga kakain na yan. Sige, sir. Sir, meron doon sa Patilio 7, nakausap ko si Dr. Fontanella. Madami Doktor? Na, Dr. Fontanella po. Ay, okay. Sinabi niya, Ay. sir, Ano sabi ni Dr. V? Kasi dati sa ito may pinakita ko rin sa inyo. Sabi niya, huwag ka muna pambigay kasi maraming donation naman. Ano, ano? Maraming ko daw donation na nare-receive sila na food. Okay. O kaya, huwag yung tuka muna kasi maraming naman dumadating. Tsaka nag-share naman sila kaya pinakin ko niya. Although yung pabigyan 28 doktor, yun, araw-araw daw. Araw-araw po kami. Yun! Sabi ni Dr. Noel, Araw-araw daw, pwede ba? Bigyan mo na lang yung Pavilion 28 kasi okay. yan yung may ano tayo. No? Okay. Pwede ba makiusap kayo dyan sa service provider sa Almusal? Sa Pavilion 28, paalmusalin nyo na rin. Sige sir, sabihin ko doon sa... Oo, oh, kasi kung ako naman, ang nag-PPE the whole day, eh ano ba, uh, bisa nyo gawin sa akin, papawisan ng parati at magtatrabaho pa, pakainin nyo naman ako. Ano na lang yun? Kung uh, tanungin mo si Tina, that is not allowed kasi meron siya 50%, eh, 50 pesos na, na ano? subsistence. No? Sorry, hindi mo yun may 50 pesos siya. Pero right now, uh, what they are texting is the compassion or the, 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 the compassion na uh, uh, emotions na kailangan naman kung maawa ka. Kaya sa tingin ko naman na uh, Lisa, eh, tulungan natin. Okay. Sino pa, Noel, ang dapat tulungan? Sir, uh, actually, ER, triage, eh, meron naman binibigay si Jerry sa triage. Mm-hmm. So yung ER nakaka-receive naman, yung 28 nakaka-receive naman. Ayan. Okay. Eh yung kwan, yung mga, yung mga ibang, uh, yung ibang kwan, wala na, Noel, yun lang ang pwede tulungan natin. Then, sir, uh, like nung Saturday and Sunday, pinag-duty ko kasi yung sa engineering. Eh. Oo, oh, oh. tulad nung sa, sa Noel, nung Sabado, I know, nagpapaspray kayo. Oo, oh, nakunit pa nga yun. Ah, alam ko lahat na nangyari kasi no, maski nakunit na uniforme, eh, nalalaman ko. Pwede ba kapag may gano'n naman, Sabado din po, eh, pagluto nyo sila ng lunch or dinner, nandyan sila? Oo, oh, yes sir. No problem. Okay. Okay. Eh, mamproblema na lang tayo kapag yun natapos na ito kung bakit nagpakain tayo ng mga tao. Basta isertify nyo na lang na uh, uh, Lisa na nagdagdag kayo ng, ng kakainin kasi ang gagawin ng pawa dyan, ito ang time nyo lang. Ilan ang pasyente nyo yun nung araw? Di siyempre, sabi nyo. 3-2. Oh, Lisa, bakit 3,000 na 3-2? Sabi, bakit 3,232. Nagdagdag ka ng titik na nila yung admission. Dr. Noel, wala naman admission na 30. So, kumuha ka ng certification na yung mga tao natin, kinakain natin. Ha? I-document nyo lang lahat. Linda, kung may, uh, uh, anong tawag dito, kung may donation, pwede ba ilista mo lahat kung saan napunta, lalo na ang food? Kasi ang food, pagka-donate mo, bibigay mo na yan eh. Hindi pwede may kawa dyan na mabilis. 
Ilan yung fried chicken? Kayo na ang gumawa ng certification lang na it was given to Pavilion 7 with 18 uh, uh, health workers uh, during that time. No? No? So that uh, pagdating sa accounting and, and uh, auditing, kompleto, nangyari yan sa mga zone doon when I was the expert. Ang mga LGUs, sige na lang, gano'n-gano'n. Alam nila, gano'n na galing. Pumasok ang kawa ng normal times. Hindi nila alam kung saan na itagbigay yung Ah, okay, so let it be said na ang ating mga health workers, no? especially those on duty at night, na hindi makakain should be fed. Yan ang aking uh, policy direction. No? Tulungan natin yung mga frontliners natin. And it is not only the doc the, the nurses or the uh, uh, nursing attendant. Maski yung support group natin. Kunwari yung mga driver na hindi nakauwi. Na hindi naman makakain. Bigyan nyo na rin na uh, one. Uh, Lisa. Ha? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, ano po? Yung number of personnel na lang mga PJ in case na may magre-request po. Bigyan nyo na lang sa wakin. Pag in case sa mga award na mga mm -hmm. natin. Tsaka yung kung pwede mga PJ, kung may mga container, food container kayo na pwede ipadala sa Bayatari para yung apportioning mo. Kasi wala akong kami food container ngayon, sir, na available. Baka meron mo sila, padala nila lang. So, ang um, ganito yan, no? Ang policy natin, bigyan sila ng pagkain. Now, kayo na nila PJ, kayo ang mag-uusap ng implementing rules on how it is done. Oh, eh, ayaw mo namang isipin na, o oh, TJ, maglagay ka ng buwan na lalagyan para sa pag-ilog. Siyempre, kayo na ang mga usap on yes, how to implement it. Basta tayo, sa committee natin, is a policy na pakainin yung mga nag-delivery sa frontliners. Correct. And then, yung implementing, kayo na. Okay, Evelyn, meron kang tanong? Sir, meron din po tayo mga taga uh, engineering personnel na dyan po nag-i-stay sa ngayon kasi ayaw po nila makompromise yung family nila. So, 8 to 9 personnel po yung naan nila. Sa gabi? Sa gabi po. Oh, sige, Is isama mo na rin sila. Uh, Linda, ay, Linda, Lisa. Yes. Ha? Binibigyan oh. naman siya ni Ma'am Linda po ng kung ano meron po dyan sa MMS. Oh. Ngayon, uh, tomorrow, example, tomorrow, Huwag ka nang munang magpakain. Kasi tomorrow, oh, meron na akong text dito na darating yung pagkain daw. Uh, sinasabi niya, no? meron na naman nag-text sa akin. Good morning, Dr. Cortez. Kanina pa pala tinext niya. Well, Morning nga, no? Anong oras na? Good morning, Dr. Cortez. This is Ruthie Abangan from Interactive Packaging. I'm handling the delivery of the 200 fa facial requirements. May I know who is the contact person on your behalf to receive delivery today? Thank you very much. The uh, usual answer is Mrs. Linda Espinosa. Si Mrs. Ikat na ito. Ano yung sumal na dyan? Puta ka. Mrs. Linda Espinosa is the head of MMS. Okay. Meron daw 200 uh, patient. Pwede bang paki lahat ng patient bigay kay Dr. Uh, Noel? Kasi gusto namin mangyari no? for the protection of our staff in the uh, pavilions, uh, gumawa ka ng order. Tina, o kaya Noel, na lahat ng nasa pavilions na hindi kailangan mag-PPE should wear face shield and sa Jikang Mas. Tapos maglagay ka ng alcohol para every time na they see a patient or before they go and see a patient, mag-alcohol sila. Ha? Para walang uh, uh, cross-contamination in the pavilions. Okay. 
Now, if we will be getting already the new uh, kids na sinasabi sa akin ni uh, uh, Dr. Susi Mercado, si Dr. Mercado was once an officer of the World Health Organization. She's a reputable public health uh, uh, worker. And uh, she's trying to help us out kung pwede gawin natin yung rapid testing para makahanap tayo ng antibodies dyan sa mga pasyente natin. Or if uh, pwede sa mga staff para malaman na natin kung sino yung pwede uh, isagbibig natin sa positive and negative. Okay. Last question now. Uh, last uh, issue, uh, Noel and uh, Dr. Uh, Berna. Kung darating yung 10, in a few days from now, five days from now, and they would uh, set up the tent. What are we going to do with the tent? Palagi ito kasi, mga 15 to 20 daw kasha sa loob. In, in terms of uh, location, uh, I've identified the parkings, parking lot there yeah, in front of what we're going to do. Kasi sa pavilion to, Noel? Oh, sorry, sa labas. Sa labas sa parking lot. Kasi, Binilang ko yung number of spaces doon, eh, lakpas 10 cars naman ang kasya doon. However, they have to cross the street to utilize the common CR. However, sa yung recommend recommendation naman ni engineer, kung sa baba natin nalagay sa sa may circle, nakita mo sa rin sa may harapan ng Pavilion 30, may communal din, may common CR din doon, may shower area pa. Kung doon natin nalagay, ang Downside naman no, yung flooring kasi is soil, baka pag ano, maputi. Pero dito naman, ang downside naman sa parking lot, pag tanghaling tapat, sobrang init kasi walang masyadong puno. Pero cementado, mali, we can maintain that cleanliness at saka yung ano. So, pinag-edibatihan pinag namin sa engineer kahapon kung saan talaga mas... Saan kaya ang pinakamaganda dyan? Kung magpo-provide kasi sila sir ng... Ang tawag doon? Portal eh. Walang Ay, problema kahit sa atin doon eh. Ang problema ko kasi sa portal eh. Did you uh, see the experience of the portal eh no, sa pavilion po? Yeah, sa sports complex. Mas lalo na yun na parang nakakadiri. Unless, unless, ha? We will put uh, 24 hours na Johnny Christian or Johnny to to clean it. Can you do that? Kasi sa, kuhan, ay, ay naman sa, sa, sa may pharmacy, sa may uh, pharmacy, sa may uh, pavilion to, napakabaho ng uh, yung portalet. Eh. Sorry, sorry, madali naman natin mga decision na kung saan lalagay yung pinaka-optimum place. However, sa big question dyan, I think Dr. Siludo can understand, is that who will be put there on the tent, in the tent? Once na it is built, set up na, who will be put there? Eh, tanggalin na natin ang uh, Juan, ang uh, 10-3, kung gano'n. Yun ang 10-3 natin. Tapos, yeah. ang, ang 10-3 natin sa harap, kapag uh, nagpas yung, yung PUI na siya, ipasok mo na doon while awaiting for uh, the uh, swabbing. Ayun, medyo malaki na kaya. Hindi, ganito muna. Huwag lalagay sila ng bed. O pwede waiting para mungo sila. Ganun ba? Hindi, ilibre na ito sa kasama ng kwan. Ano yan? Okay. Hmm. So you, you want, yeah, so you want it utilized as a waiting lounge for swapping. No doctors should be there. No. Pwede na pala doctor. Well, it makes sense. Public public is safe, not the other. Ang, uh, ang, uh, well, oh. sa tent, saan sila kung pupunta ng siya? Hindi, yan sa tent ng screening. Eh, gusto mo? Sir, ano yun, sir? Sa pag-asa? Oo. Pinahit ko sa'yo. Pag-asa? Matabi ko ng pag-asa, sir. Hindi, meron doon CR sa... sa... Malapit. Yung yung mismo sa garden? Oo, sir. Yung mga
Yun yung okay. mga iniisip na ilagay siya ng tent eh. Para okay. nandun yung siya eh. Sa harap ng mens. Pero ganun din yung mga ano, soy at saka grass. Lagi na lang natin yung grata. Oo. Oh. Gravel ready na lang. Hindi. Bibili pa tayo. Bakit gravel? Ba't hindi nyo nagyan na lang? Wala ba yung kahoy na gano'n? Wala. Hirap. Plywood sir. Katulad po nung ginawa natin sa 10, 1, 2, 3. Plywood? Sige po. Plywood? Ah, uh, nawal. Pwede sa... Naisip ko yung... Sige. Okay. Hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi. We have to... What? We have to discuss this kung ano yung feeling nyo. What is the... What is the hindrance there? Hindi, wala. Wala sir. Okay lang. Okay. Ma... Naisip ko lang sir yung ano. Kano ba ginatos ko doon sa plywood doon sa tent? Yun, para makimultiply ko kasi ilang size na yun yung tent na bibili. Di ba na almost naka 30? 3% per 10. Noel, eh kung uh, may mag-CR, kung pasukin ko sa pavilion ko, malayo. Wala naman tawa na sa pavilion ko in the moment. Siya na, kung siya sa, sa loob ng pavilion ko, sa gitna. Ha? Sa Hindi. Ito yung pavilion 2 parking lot. So, ilalagay mo doon kung magsisiyar sa pavilion 2. Ay, pwede, sir. Magandang lobby lang. Kasi sa lobby, katlo siya. Diba? Oo. Pwede, sabihin mo. Nakagraba na yun. Kasi yung sinasabi ni Noel, okay yun eh. Yung matikas kasi na yung parking doon eh. So, kung ilalagay mo doon malapit yung tent, total, wala pa naman masyadong tao sa pavilion 2. Ito, nalang natin, 2CR. So, At pag- saka sa yung flooring ko, nakagraba na. Yoo! Oh. Oh. Ay, kasi ito. Kasi gagamitin ko rin yung isang kwarto ko na laboratory. Di mas maganda na natin yung tent. Okay, sir. Kaya gusto kong punin yung tent. Ganda. Meron silang uh, ventilation flow. Okay. So, ang um, i-discuss nila later on where to put the tent. Hindi pala real time na. Tignan mo, Noel. Tignan mo yung kamay ko, ha? Tignan nyo. Ha? Okay. Anyway, ganito, ano? We will, uh, based on this, yung uh, tent, kung saan ilalagay, ipapainchin nyo na lang yan, eh, you know, where it is best. Kasi uh, baka at any given time, the, uh, the uh, group of uh, architect, may architect uh, from PRC would come, and then uh, itakayo na nila yung tent. Kasi binigyan na natin na uh, hindi that, did we already give the letter na uh, they can uh, have a pass? Yes, okay. And then, uh, Tina, all other issuances mo na pending the refinement of your uh, civil service rules will be hold in abeyance. No? Wala ko na nagpahal. And then, you please uh, coordinate with all concern regarding the uh, use of the temporary shelter. And Mrs. Kaplan, uh, you are being my director, no? that uh, all our uh, frontliners that are on duty, especially those at night, who did not buy the food, should be fed as, uh, as a compassionate approach to our health workers. Okay. And then, uh, TJ, you give the list of all our nurses who are willing to go on duty na nasa bahay, and then their addresses and everything, so that it can be studied, masundu sila, and after that, they can stay in the temporary area and inform Tina whether they are male or female so that it can be uh, uh, reapportioned. Okay. And so uh, I would like later on to uh, uh, see the result of the Pavilion 28, uh, results of the swabbing and all the blood exams uh, care of Dr. Saludo para malaman na natin sa Pavilion 28 kung sino ba ang hihilipat natin 
sa Pavilion 7 or our uh, uh, isolation area. Okay, so are there any other uh, questions before we call it today? Wednesday, pwede mag-briefing uh, lang tayo ulit, no? Sa Wednesday. Sino mag-absent sa Wednesday? Sino masakit ang kasakasuhan? Sir, uh, alam mo ba yun, sir? Body aches? That's the predictor of a severe moment. Body aches? But, uh, you know, when you have pneumonia, there should be difficulty of breathing and, and uh, di ba, man? And hindi lang yan, difficulty of breathing. Minsan, uh, dapat meron pang quality fever kasi nag-a-adjust yung body mo. You know, last night, it's very... Uh, it's very uh, stressful. Uh, my wife, tinutok niya sa akin ng one. Uh, electric fan. Tapos, uh, 26 lang sa sermon. So, malamig ako. Nag-disipot at malamig. And then, when she touched me, ang init ng kamay niya. So, may fever ka ba? <laughs> Tapos, nung uh, nag-tubayo uh, ako, and then, nung tinawakan ko siya, Wala naman pala. Ako pala malamig. So you see, parang parang mo siya. Things are not happening. Okay. So again, thank you. And uh, sana, no, uh, let's just uh, text each other kung may mga uh, dapat ayusin. And uh, thank you uh, so much uh, for this uh, meeting today. Okay? Thank you. Tempesta kami din nakikita. Ten days na kami din nakikita.